We're about to go live in a few seconds. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I think I think the levels are good. <clears throat> the levels are good. The levels are good. The levels are good. Are we crispy? <laughs> Hell, what's up, yeah. chat? <laughs> what's going on, chat? Are we crispy? Oh shit! People, are you talking about the pro? Oh, oh I love snap. it. Oh snap! Are we live? Is that a conversation? Bro? What up? Oh, are we live? Ext- yeah, are oh, we live? Yeah, you just tuned in. Perfect. Just coming through. Just coming through. Oh shit! Oh, Z show just <laughs> finished. Everybody's like, everybody's like, perfect timing because Z show just finished. All right. <laughs> okay. So now so I now have a uh, now uh, now tell everybody to to come on over because the oh. party's just starting. You know what I'm saying? This is the after party. That's it. This is the after party. This is where all you know. This is where all the cocaine is at. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, you have the this is where they take your phones out the door. The we can't party. have we can't have any photos. This is this is the Hollywood. This is the Hollywood after party. <laughs> <laughs> they take your phones you know out the door. No photos, no, no videos, photos, please. No photos. You know, keep 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 all the pictures. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, man! But hey, man, welcome, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. Your only friend is YouTube Streets Porter Rock seventy seven. And of course, I got the panel. I got you know Craig, top flight security in the world, and of course, I got my brother. Other from down under who's oh made that rhyme who, nice. yeah that's right my brother from down under right um who's 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 right now even though it's march he's burning his ass off because it's summer over there yeah it's today's be, about day and then it's, it's gonna really be autumn day. right and then you go into autumn in may right april may yeah. is autumn for you we call I, it I fall. guess, yeah. We call it fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In America. Yeah, I listen, mean, it makes I'm sense because it's fall. Listen, I'm always going to be amazed at this, all right? So just just yeah. deal with it. It's Because it's just amazing. The world's amazing. It just shows you how amazing the world is. Do you know what's amazing? The fact that it took me a long time to realize that you guys called it fall because the leaves <laughs> on your trees fall. Yes. Whereas they don't in Australia because most Australian trees are evergreen. So it took me ages. I was like, <laughs> why do they call it fall? <laughs> You got to think, what do they call it for? It's got to be something that caters to their simplistic minds. Oh, (laughs) because the leaves falls off. (laughs) The leaves fall off the trees. Yeah. So whenever something don't make sense, you got to act dumb. Mm. And then it'll make sense. (laughs) You got to go to the lowest Mm -hmm. common denominator. (laughs) <laughs> that's how we work in this country. exactly you know we exactly. built everything to the to the dumbest person so if the dumbest person can figure it out then it's gonna work it's there gonna we go work. there we go <laughs> that's why that's why we don't go wait wait, wait. where does where, where does spring come from <laughs> spring brian brian oh. is it because like like leaves spring from the ground did no, i get that be- right no because because spring over here the time moves forward so you spring ahead you spring back and <laughs> yeah, you spring forward and fall back. That's yeah. the that's another one. Spring that's forward, what it is. spring forward and fall back. That's another way. If, another even your seasons are military minded. <laughs> listen, we're a country. Listen, football and war. That's all we get. Football, war, and God. That's all we get right here. <laughs> Healthcare, we have no, we have no idea what we're doing. TikTok, we're gonna ban the shit. But God damn it, we got football, God, and guns. That's all we need. <laughs> Oh shit! Everybody's tripping out. They're like, "Yo, the America is completely different." But anyway, man, we got some great topics. It's not just the title. I mean, there's just so much stuff. Oh man, this is this 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 week has been so amazing. Just seeing the coping seed, uh, and it's just Tuesday. Yeah, it's just Tuesday. (laughs) But my God! But first, let's go with the panel. You know what I'm saying? Top flight security of the world. Craig, what's going on? Hey. They playing a little XCOM and played some Madden yesterday, so oh, nice. <laughs> so yeah. Um, XCOM getting, is amazing. Yeah, I'm actually really having fun. Um, but yeah, I finally broke open Assassin's Creed Mirage. It's actually fun. So um, it it feels like the old Assassin's Creeds that you played back on the whatever PS3 360. That's kind of the way it feels. Kind of the movement. You could even put that. That blue tint it had on there because it they had like a blue blue hue that's even available. So uh, that's so far solid experience. I played it a whole lot on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I think. <laughs> All right. Cool. Good. Good man. Good. Good. I'm glad everything healthy. All right. And then my brother down under. What's going on? Oh, and hell divers. 
Oh, hell divers. Oh, 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 so you you calling in the B twos? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Jada did most so of that. Now, so <laughs> now, so so hey, you you should have you should have listened to Christopher Nolan. You either die a hero mm -hmm. or you live long enough to be the villain. Yeah, I mean, at this point, so I just didn't mean to villain. cut you off him. But uh, I have I was having major for some reason when my PlayStation Five updates the the whole the sound settings just go bizarre. Like when I try to plug the microphone in, yeah. so I had to go in and watch videos. Like I, this can't be as difficult as I'm making it, and it wasn't. It's just like they don't have a straightforward way just to plug and play. You got to mm. go in and hit this and slide this. So, but I didn't is mean to interrupt the, you. Is that, is that they want you to buy the headset? That's why. Yeah, which I do why. have. You know, you got the so but one? You, I've got the PS. I got two. I, well, I, not the newest one. I've got two of the no, uh, ones the that Pulse. came out long. Got the Pulse, the so. first ones. Yeah, I have there's two of the Pulses. Oh, I have an all black one. Do you plug it into the controller? Do you plug the yeah. into? Oh, I don't. I use the yeah. USB dongle that it comes with. Yeah, you know, I plug into the controller, and it's a pain in the ass oh, to get all oh, set up. So I was literally following J Dub around, kind of following his lead. And uh, yeah, we we did a whole mission without talking to each other. <laughs> oh wow, that's like the it old was it was Play fun. The PlayStation yeah. two days. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. You just kind of followed the lead and dongle. started getting. Why don't you use the dongle? Why don't you? Use the dongle? I don't know. I'm not a dong better, dongle too, man. Because because like, is it really? Wanna, no, because if you want to use the the hat, the, the Bluetooth? tempest, the tempest, and the 3D audio is through yeah. the dongle. Oh no! no that, well, that comes through no matter what. Really? Spatial, yeah, 3D, yeah, comes through. Even, it's even automatic. Um, well, when you're yeah, plugged in, it, it defaults that, yeah, over. If you, yeah, if you do over. plug into a controller, you can get it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. That is now you. It's more options. It, I know that I didn't realize they had. I forgot they had Dolby Atmos on there. I'm like, well, let me try Dolby Atmos. It doesn't sound as good. Pay for, you have to pay Atmos, right? You have no, to pay you for don't. Licenses? No, no, not on PlayStation. Not on PlayStation. Yeah, really? PlayStation helps. Yeah, PlayStation helps Dolby make their systems. Their especially their move their movie Wait a systems. So Atmos is free on PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, it's been Te free. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, technically, I think it's Atmos compatible. It's not yeah. like I don't think it's hundred yeah. percent Atmos. So I'm not sure if they actually bought the license, but either way, you don't oh. have to pay. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to pay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Extreme, my brother. Yo, so I've been playing, uh, what is it I've been playing? Uh, not Tales of Arise, the other one, Scarlet Nexus. Guys, Scarlet Nexus, I know that it, it dropped on uh, PlayStation Plus, I think, the other day, whatever. Amazing, fantastic game. Uh, way better than Tales of Arise, by the way. I know they're yeah. both from Bandai oh. and Namco. Go play mm -hmm. that one. Uh, it doesn't have black people, but at least it doesn't have white people either, so oh, balance is out. Yeah. So it's you know equal. that's it's <laughs> equal. as long as it's fair and equal. As long as it's fair, you know that that's that's what really matters over here. Okay. No, no discrimination or at least equal discrimination against you know certain peoples. So that that's good. That's good. I used to have a teacher that used to say, "Hey, listen, class, I want you all because like I want you all to know I hate all of you equally." And I always thought that was the nicest thing a person could say. <laughs> so yeah, that is that is just what it's, I want. I don't it's, need it's them fair. to love me. Just I just need them to hit equally. me equally with other people, okay. <laughs> you know. So yeah, so yeah, go and play Scarlet Nexus. It is fantastic. It requires two playthroughs. They are both worth doing. It, it's just been it's been amazing. It's been so good. I even upgraded to like the ultimate edition. I was like, I've got to give people some money. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm glad. All right. Awesome. All right. But hey, we're gonna kick off the show. But shout out to the chat and shout out to the members, man. Thank you so much, man. I got we got so many people, man. We seen uh the the chat looks really colorful. Got nice assorted colors of blue and green and everything and all that stuff. And everybody, yeah. Shout out, time. To, shout out to you yeah. know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to spam the custom smileys. You understand what I'm saying? I put a lot of hard work into that. No, nah, not really. I just like copy and paste other people's shit and just uploaded it. I'm not gonna lie, um, but you know, respect their work. You know, we're, we're paying homage to what they did. So, so please, <laughs> spam, like an artist? spam the chat. You know, spam the chat with the custom smileys. They're hilarious and stuff like you that. You stole like but, an artist. That's it. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's it, it, sometimes it's sometimes the best the best ideas comes from the one you steal. Um, the, uh, but I want to say first off before we start the show, um, if you're new to the channel, I hope you stick around and enjoyed the show. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. 
share it out and please consider becoming a member and being part of the 60 frames no lag family uh but we're gonna kick it first let's kick off the stuff right and we're gonna talk about extreme's favorite topic rumors mm. shit that's yeah. confirmed rumors now uh, no no it's not normal. but tom henderson and it's on the screen he says, as expected, Sony has launched an internal investigation into the leaked documents on Trinity as it leaked yeah. during a third-party rollout. Not sure on the implications yet, as I don't think they can catch one individual, but Sony could reduce its third-party developer pool for new tech results. So apparently, Sony has begun the investigations. Now, Extreme, remember when we talked about like rumors and, and stuff? Mm -hmm. And like, you know, nothing's yeah. official, just official. And I'm like, you know, and I agreed with you like 85%. Like, like for the majority of time, yes, right? But I did say there's mm -hmm. this one sliver thing though, that if you pay attention, right? Because a lot of people have connections. And when one big guy says some bullshit, everybody will run and jump on top of him. Because they'd be like, nah, nah, that's not true. He's lying. Because they have the connections to say he's full of shit. But when everybody who has connections keep quiet and don't try to fight it, it's because they're hearing the same things too. And then it becomes a games of, well, I didn't hear this spec, I heard this spec. Well, I didn't hear this spec or this spec. And now it becomes a game mm -hmm. of who gets to the closest spec, right? And stuff like that. Yeah. Now, um, Moore's Law, he came out uh, recently and he edited it because he said he needed to protect his source, but he released... Yeah what was the internal documents to the specs of what's going to be the PS5 Pro. But he edited it to make it, you know, to make sure that it's very hard to figure out um, who did it, right? Or who provided the documents. So he provided the specs. Tom Henderson here said, he confirmed, he's like, yep, these specs are real. Moore's Law got it right. This is the PS5 Pro. Now with this Sony launch internal investigation where you don't hear much about, I think this is it. The specs that we're getting is the, that's the Pro, right? Which kind of yeah. sucks for the people who wants that, you know, that whole official reveal. You they, they, they ruined the movie for you. They spoil it. They spoiled the movie for you, right? So this well, is cool. not it is. yes and no. Well, no, yes and no because people at this point, I think Porter, you did a video on this Sunday. It was we have to see the performance. I mean, all right, fine. It, that's I, different. The reason, yeah, yeah that, that's that, and yeah. that's what I think. That's what we're all waiting on. Um. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I had a, no, I got to eat a little going. crow. I got I got to eat a little crow here. I did not believe these specs. I was I'm gonna do a podcast tomorrow so people can go ahead and stone and and tar me. Um, but tar um, and I the yeah, tomorrow six thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right tar between the eyes, the right? Yeah, the but um, so what my source got Shame. got everything right except the T flop count. He thought it was. Uh, he told me it was sixteen six. But he was—he literally was just basing it on the regular points, uh, and yeah. floating, not floating points. He said it's sixteen six minimum. After he said, "That's all I can really say to you. I don't know the clock speed." So, but um, yeah, like I said, these this is real. The only reason I'm saying that, and we all have to, well, I'll be honest here and say we're. I was waiting on either Digital Foundry or Michael Michael T N X Gamer to come out and verify and. When Digital Foundry came out, I guess earlier today, I didn't know this and verified this. I immediately said, "Well, now that it's confirmed," and so I'm thinking you, to oh myself, so now "We now to have to see." Yeah, now we have to. Well, no, now you now, to exactly. Now Zaddy, Zaddy cool. said it. You know, Zaddy is <laughs> no, Zaddy. Zaddy is Zaddy, right? Now that Zaddy has confirmed this, we have to now wait for some real time results. I know what they're saying on paper because you kind of broke that down too. But, mm -hmm. you know, I want to see because we already have games. I talked about this yesterday. We already have games on the PlayStation. This 1440p, 60 frames per second with ray tracing. The, the, the Spider-Man does that already. It already is Ratchet doing Clank that. Does that? Yeah, Ratchet and Clank does it as well. So Insomniac, through their temporal injection, whatever they call it, they can get that to work. And it is dynamic 4K. There, most of PlayStation Studios, first party, to my understanding, have not deployed ray tracing. Uh, mm -hmm. I, may, I think Naughty, Naughty Dog has not done it. They haven't done it yet. At least they haven't admitted that they've done it. But now we get to see, like I was telling you guys, the, the upscaling technology, which you already kind of see right now. But you're, it's just going to be a little bit crisper. Again, take this is what I've said, and I'm I'm gonna drop the mic because I gotta go take some pain medicine when I fail. Um, just imagine, just if you can, 
if you have Disney Plus, watch the first 15 minutes of Avengers Endgame because you get all different kind of colors. Then stop it because that's stream. Then if you have the 4K movie, put in the 4K movie and watch the same scene. Yeah, it's completely and different. And so, yes, it is yeah. different. But what Sony yeah. will be able to do, allegedly, is take that streaming picture and push it closer to what you're looking at on the 4K. Because the 4K, uh, actual native 4K picture, is just a cleaner, crisper look. And because, I think Porter Rock was talking about this on your video, they're going to be able to deploy assets differently. They're already streaming the stuff. They sit, If you play Forbidden, Forbidden West, that in the whatever it's called, Burning Shores, that in sequence, 90% of that assets are being streamed in, in real time. That's why you're able to do that. So people keep forgetting PlayStation will do that. They will be able to take a picture that's 1080p, 1200p, and push it up based on the tech, on the specs that are out here. That's exactly what we're going to get is the upscaling. And, it, and when the brain came on about a month ago, this is what I was telling him. Hey, I've been told. Yeah, it, it's just be a little more efficient. Don't get hung up on if this, you know, on 30 frames, 60 frames, because or try not to. If, if, if they target 30, they're targeting 30. The pisser, Maybe the first the part, pisser. yeah. The pisser the piss, will yeah, piss. They're going yeah. to take yeah. the piss. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm calling it PSR. I'm, yeah, I'm just calling it pisser. PSR. It's, no, no, and no, yeah, no it's pisser. It, yeah, that sounds we, better. We, that's but, the pisser. <laughs> but I want, I want to do say two things here. One, right. don't, don't, don't count the chickens before they're hatched. That's what my aunt used to say my aunt Jean used to say that so don't sit up here and think no, no, something sorry, is sorry 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 sorry, sorry okay. no, go ahead. did go you ahead. just associate a very common saying to uh-huh. your aunt that's it you were like very that's common. Yeah, you love my aunt Jean. you love my no, aunt Jean. Aunt Jean she, she said made that, all right aunt Jean that said that yeah you love her you love <laughs> our aunt Jean. but uh <laughs> she know? um yes but she um this so I don't my want dad people. Used to say, I, don't look the gift horse in the mouth. All right? Yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, what I all right? What I don't don't yeah don't look zaddy in the mouth. Uh, what I what I'm trying to say here is that don't get caught up in what's going to do this 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 and this. It's going to do exactly what they need it to do. That's it. Don't make it any bigger than that. These people are already saying, well, Grand Theft Auto is going to be CPU bound, and Digital Foundry cracked me up. When they when they said in one breath, it's just, this is for the stuff that's stuck at thirty is for the games already made. Now the last time I looked, and maybe M's got it different in Australia. Grand Theft Auto's not out yet, so it's still being made. So oh, yeah, no, what, do you think, what do you think Australia's yeah. doing? No, no, we got it. We got it. Hey, it maybe out already, already <laughs> down there. Yeah, we got GTA Seven. So, yeah, yeah, they got the Seven already. Yeah, I and mean, it's got machine learning on it as yeah, well. It's like you, so, you guys are playing on the PS Five. We got the PS Seven. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. I don't know why I guess I'm talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro because I'm on the PS9. So yeah, this no, is no, yeah, they, they, they way ahead. They way ahead. So my, my get, point, yeah. yeah, my point, however, is just to don't get caught up in what it can and cannot do. Just let's go ahead if you're going to buy it, buy it and enjoy it for what it is doing. That's all I got to say. All right. Shout out to J Row 49. Salute, my brother. Thank you so much. Um, hey, don't forget to hit the like button. So, hey, so Extreme, I ask you a different question, right? Because I know sure. you're not interested in the rumors and stuff like that. But I mm-hmm. know you like expensive stuff that actually deserves to be expensive. Okay. Thank so, you. you know what I mean? Thank you so right? much for playing that. So, way. so, yeah. so, yeah. So, this question, I'm interested in you. How do you feel about the fan base that's still trying to? And you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me. Let, let, hold on. Before we, let me, let me prelude to this question. Let me bring the prelude. This is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so Paris, Vicious Six Nine Six says, if PlayStation oh, wants up. the rumored PS Five Pro to have any impact beyond enthusiast crowd, it will be four ninety nine at launch. Only the hardcore audience will be willing to pay a premium for increased performance. As for GTA Six, if you don't already own a PS Five or Xbox, most consumers will look for the cheapest point of entry. Now, how? So it seems like he's trying to introduce. A scenario where PS5 Pro should be considered something beyond the enthusiast, hence the 499 price. What do you, how do you, I ain't gonna say feel, what's your opinion on anyone looking at this product other than it should be an enthusiast console? It should be a high end console. That's the target. But you have people like him 
that's still kind of saying no, it should be four ninety nine, blah blah blah. How do you feel about that whole? What's your opinion on that whole scenario? And, and okay, I have like I have so many things to say. For, so that's I why I ask you this mind. question. That's exactly why but I first, know you do. Let's 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 begin. Uh, let's know. begin at the beginning. You know, beginning let's begin beginning. at the beginning first. Guys, you know I don't believe in these rumors, right? You know, you know my entire stance. That's why but I didn't ask you the going question. Forward, going forward, no, no, I'll say going forward, I'm just going to go under the assumption for conversation that this is real. So we're Good. just going to put that aside right. and we're just going to say that. Secondly, when it comes to these things, you know, things like the iPhone 15 Pro Max prove you wrong. Because you see, it is at its essence, the very same phone that's why they call it you know they put the same number as they the do the base 15. model <laughs> exactly <laughs> they all start <laughs> with iphone and the number <laughs> yeah. then after that, that it. <laughs> they tell you which 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 tier you're in i mean when you go and you buy you know like a, a porsche 911 they will tell you hey you can have the 911 or you can have the 911 gt or you can have the 911 carrera or you can have the 911 Turbo GT, and they will just keep moving you up the stack, okay? Until you realize that the very highest end, you know, model that you start with, because after that there's options, right? Yeah. And it's like twice the price as the base model. Yeah. So if you look at the base model, like, oh, I always wanted 911. That's that's my dream car. But then you think to yourself, wait, it's my dream car, so I kind of want to just go hard one time. Yeah. You you find yourself being over double. And that's before you get into the options. Then they will sell you the leather seat belt. You know, they, they, they will sell you the leather on the on the on the seat on the heating vent. Do you want leather on your heating vent? We can put that there for you for five hundred bucks. So here's the thing: this entire um, system of economics is fully understood, fully accepted with everything else it seems but gaming. And the thing that I don't like about Paris is that I feel like by making this comment, you make the, the entire crowd dumber because you are, you, are, you are faking it. You are pretending that we live in a world that we don't live in. Okay. I'm not saying that the PlayStation 5 Pro could not come in at, for, at 4 or 99 or whatever, right? But if it does, it shouldn't be because it was designed to be at that price point and therefore they gimped the PlayStation 5 Pro to hit that price point. It should be because through some miracle, they were able to have a breakthrough and they are able to give us the performance that we deserve and yet at a miraculous price point, right? That that would be it. That would be like if one day they created the iPhone 17 and they're like, you know what? Base model, four ninety nine. Don't worry about it. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> because usually you've been getting us used to the fact that we'll be paying more and more and more. So for you to take away um, or to reduce the price on something, that is miraculous. But no. So at the end of the day, this is a high-end product. It is for the enthusiast crowd. And before it was cool to say so, I was the person that said that if it doesn't come at $700 and up, it's not worth it. And people kept going like, oh no, the PlayStation 5 will be cheaper by then. And I was like, no, it will not. This will not be the generation where you see the base model PS5 reduced by substantial amount all of the time they might want to sell during black friday where they're like oh yeah we take a hundred dollars off but aside from that you're going to be paying pretty much the same price you would have paid at launch or near that price we are not going to see a playstation 5 go for 200 dollars. that will not happen this generation so all of you that are thinking oh we'll just make the playstation 5 399 for the disc version and then we'll be able to slot this one in at 499 no and also you don't want that none of you want that because at the end of the day, if it is not a substantial jump in quality that it is able to deliver you, then you are not going to be interested in buying the product. So let the product be compelling enough that it is interesting to you. And then let the price be the best price that they can hit. And I will be surprised if there is a six or a lower number in front of that, uh, in front of that price tag. Yeah. I, I, yeah, agree. I, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, I think it's, it is well, it is a premium product and uh, I mean, poor Rock, you said it on your podcast the other day you're going to have to pay this whole notion of you all wanting people to do more you want you want the games to be to take advantage of everything which is perfectly fine I want to make that clear you're going to have to pay for that so you better I just want to say you better get your cheeks ready just get it ready you know get it ready get whatever it's going to take you need to Mow lawns, donate, donate sperm or blood. 
get it ready. Okay. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, because this is not going to be, as like M said, and I said this on my podcast last night, it is for the, the enthusiast. It's not going to be the highest adapted part margin be, uh, console because it never is. The Series S has outsold the, the Series X, even though the Series X got more power. So, you know, the Pro, I think, so one out of five compared to the other other thing. I think it was 20%, I think was the final breakdown of that. So, um, so, so you're going to be in a very niche club. And, and I'm telling you right now, if you don't have a monitor or a TV to a- explore all this stuff that it's going to possibly be able to do, that's the first thing you need to do. Just get that, get that <laughs> before anything else. So just letting people know to get it ready. Chocolate Thunder ready to take your money. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna make a point because, and this is generally, I notice gaming is the only community gaming gaming industry. The consumers, or at least those of us that are hardcore, this is the only industry that completely treats gaming completely different than any other. Uh, industry that sells stuff, right? Um, yeah. Shout out to True Virgil. He says, my dad used to say, don't bend over in front of Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> well, your dad is a wise man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, is he speaking from experience? <laughs> yes, no, your dad is really smart. Don't bend over in front of Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Absolutely not. That threw me oh off. I, I just saw that. I'm like, I got to say this one. <laughs> Yo, True Virgil's crazy. Yo. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. That, that, that broke my burn right there. All right. So, all right. Here we go. All right. Back to what I was saying. So, right here. Let me. So, the gaming gamers, they hold the gaming industry to a completely different standard. Or they just like... Sometimes I think gamers think that gaming is a non-profit organization. And they expect to get all this stuff at reduced costs across the board. Like a non-profit business, right? Okay? Because they expect a product, PS5 Pro, that is clearly designed to be better than the PS5... But they want it similar or close to the price of the PS5. I, on screen, I got an example here of BMW, right? The 530i. You got the base price here is is fifty seven thousand, right? And just like kind of like what um Extreme says, or you could bump it up and pay an extra three thousand more, and you got a five thirty, right? Or you could break out of that mold and enter the five forty, still the five series, but you got a five forty. Now you're paying sixty four thousand, or you could just go Ooh. ham. And go for the BMW M and get an mm. i5 and pay 84000 Now, if gamers was in this industry, they will be saying, how come the i5 is in around fifty or 60000 Exactly. That's exactly what you these guys will be doing. Right? But they still expect the i5 to be the i5. And you know what's funny? It, is that you ridiculous. look at the jumping price there, it's nearly $30,000 more. Like, yes. that's the thing. So when you say something like it's $700, if you multiply the 57000 by 1.5, you get close to what this new this i5 there is going to get. You take the price of the PlayStation 5, multiply that by 1.5, you are 750 But people are pretending that this is somehow unheard of. Like, no. oh my God, they're going to charge this much? Why? Mm. How could they? How evil? How anti-consumer? Like you don't have to buy it. Yes, it's not for the, you. That's what's it's insane. not for you. Now PS5 right. Slim still exists. Right. I could, I could argue. Yeah. I could understand if the argument was they're gonna discontinue the Slim and going exactly. forward is the Pro. Now I'd be like, damn. Now you don't have a choice but to pay six or seven hundred dollars. That's fucked up. But the Slim is still there. Like. Just get the slim, but they want the yeah. pro at the slim price, which doesn't make sense. You're not gonna yeah. get that because the pro at the slim price is called the slim. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna get more performance. You're gonna get the slim. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, and this is a, this is it's absolutely insane. So like, the whole four ninety nine five ninety nine. Listen, if you're interested in a pro, unless just just at this point, just pick a number where. What is the most you're willing to pay? 
Yeah. Don't worry about That's also where we're at right now. Just, just, just pick yep. the most. Like, I'll get a pro as long as it's no more than $800, $700. Yeah. That's exactly. the limit, right? I agree. But don't I pull agree. the, oh, it should be four ninety nine. Like, Like, this guy, like, you got to be out of your mind to, to think this thing's going to be, he wants this thing to cost the same price as a launch regular PS5. That's how broke he is. I mean, that's how broke and dusty this guy is. And uh, I'm just, I'm tired. Of, yeah, I'm tired of people like this again. I, I'm all, I'm in your corner when you say I want the developers to do more. I'm all for that. I think everyone is, well, I speak for myself here. I am with you on that. But I'm also the mindset of I'm going to have to pay for that. If I want to, if I want that Ruth Chris steak, if I want that porterhouse, I'm going to play pay for the porterhouse. I ain't going to pay for the for that little sirloin, the little ranch steak. I'm paying for the porterhouse. So, and I expect that porterhouse to be, I expect it to be expensive, but I also expect it to melt inside, like ah, you know. So, and and again, if I am able, if I get this pro, and I'm already going to get my money, uh, <laughs> I'm getting my money advanced for. It. Thursday, I'll have my cash ready. So, but I am willing to pay six hundred. That's as high as I'm willing to pay. Now, I'm going to be trading in something as well. But you know, I'm I'm walking into that store with six hundred. That's all I can really say about it. And, and but something to trade. So, if it comes out five nine nine, I've heard you know, different. I mean, they'll put a price out, and the market will tolerate the price because Sony is going to say it's worth it. And that's going to be enough to move that needle. Guarantee. You know? I don't think. I mean, you realize. take a look at the iPhone 15, right? Yeah. yeah. You take a look at the iPhone 15, and in America, 7.99 to start with, right? Yep. Yep. Then that's the base model. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Let me cut you off real quick. I'm sorry to interfere. Sure. But chat, am I the only one? Because now I got you on the screen. How come it looks like this is like? You look like a professor giving an online class right now. It just feels like I'm watching an online. Right? You, you, there's like there's this feeling like I'm in college and I'm just like the way he just presents himself. I'm like, what is this? Is this a university? Like, what's going on here? Like, this feels like you know a Teams meeting with, with a professor. And uh, on today's topic, we're going to discuss. Now, go ahead, brother. <laughs> the stupidity of certain people. That's what we're going to discuss. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right iPhone 15. He said the nutty professor. 7.99. You know what? I, 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 I hear using the, the 99. $800. dollars Okay, that's what it is. It's $800. It sounds okay? cheaper when you, when you that, drop it by Yeah, when you seven ninety nine, it's like, oh, we like the 7. We prefer it. You know, it's around it, $700. It's just, it just bigger than 7. I could say I could say it's around $700 at seven ninety nine. But when you say 800 I can't nah, say nah, around nah. 700 yeah, Exactly, exactly. That's before touch. taxes. That's, so, a, that's you know, American you Business definitely... 101. American Business 101. <laughs> Drop it a dollar so you can say, oh, for around 700 you can get a PlayStation 5. Mm-hmm. Oh, the one Craig should turn on his camera. Craig, come on. Yeah. Show us your beautiful your beautiful mug. So anyways, $800 to start with at the iPhone 15. A thousand bucks to go to the iPhone 15 Pro. Yeah. $1,200. Okay, and again, since we are in professor class now, what do you notice? 1.5 times. Okay, you want to go to the Pro Max? You're paying 50% more than you did for the iPhone 15. And lots of people paid, you know? So uh, for me, when I think about the higher end, you know, model, whatever, I just take whatever the base is or the most popular version is, and I just multiply it by 1.5. And if it happens to be a little bit more, so be it. If it happens to be a little bit less, so be it. But still... As long as I don't know what the pricing is, that's what I go to. I do it for cameras. I do it for lenses. Because same thing there. If you have a camera, they will have the, you know, I, I'm, I'm shooting right now on a Sony Alpha 7 something, right? And then if you want to go to like the Alpha 9, you are pretty much multiplying whatever that generation base camera was mm-hmm. by 1.5 or more. That's usually how it goes. Because they need to actually give themselves something some kind of financial leeway and also some kind of differentiating factor you don't want to just create a price point at every like 50 dollars for a console you don't want to have like a playstation 5 499 playstation 5s 550 playstation 5s max 600 playstation 5 pro 650 playstation 5 pro max like you don't want to saturate things like that exactly so the thing is you just want to take a noticeable step forward so that when the end user gets it, 
they also see a noticeable step forward. And that's a great point because for a console game, if they're going to do this mid-gen refresh, it should be like that. Not this iterative stuff. It should be a huge discernible difference, right? Yeah. You got mm-hmm. your you got the console that launches, which is meant for the mass consumer, right? It's meant for the audience that's outside enthusiasts. That's the PS5. And that's what's weird about Paris talking about, well, they expect this console to be beyond the enthusiast. No, you already have that. That already exists. The console for the casuals, the console for people who want a nice price point, a nice entry price point, that already exists. It's already there. This right here is all about the enthusiasts. It's all about the tech guys. It's all about it's all about the people that are on the PS5, and they love mm-hmm. it, and they will love the opportunity to say, you know what? If I had the opportunity to get even a better version of PS5, I will go for it. Just make it, and I'll buy it. Yeah. Trying Absolutely. to cap. Yeah, trying to cap the product to a minimum to reach a bigger spot to me that only hurts the product if sony comes in with the mindset now we got to find a way to release this up at 4.99 you already ruined it in my opinion you already killed it you already killed it that's that's the last thing what sony should be like all right given the audience we're trying to appease what is the most we think we can make out of them what is like the highest price point we could generally think is it six ninety nine, seven ninety nine? That to me would be a better target goal. If Sony thinks we'd be like, you know what, for the tech enthusiasts, for the hardcore, for the for the enthusiast that wants the best performance and they love console, for those who want a really beefy chocolate thunder, grab them in the corner type <laughs> console, you know, we think six fifty is where they're gonna go. They will have no problem with six fifty or seven hundred. And to me, that's what they should go. Mm. It's not gonna sell a lot anyway. Even if you did yeah, sell it, three ninety nine, you're still gonna get a three ninety nine slim. Yeah. The majority of people are still gonna go for that. There's, there's, there's just there's no winning with the pro. The slim will be the king of console sales. That's already determined. So if you're gonna go, go out with a bang. The people that says, "Oh, I ain't paying for that shit," they're not gonna buy it anyway. The, uh, there, there was a high and likely chance they were not going to buy it. And of course, he enters the ring. Jay Breezy, what's going on? Yo, p I, I, I was about to say, the people that claim that they're not going to buy it or it's, it's going to be too much, even though we know the price pet tag, those are the people that's going to get it free anyway. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? oh, they're going to put out there and waste man <laughs> you know it, 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 it's, it's the most it's the most mind-boggling thing where in one tweet people can con- contradict themselves within the same tweet knowing what the target audience for is for with a pro but still trying to make it seem like it should be costing the same price as the playstation 5 slim or what it, whenever this console come out yeah like yeah. like I, it's just like yo you're playing you're purposely being ignorant just for a, a like or a retweet on a, on a, on Twitter, like it's dumb. Like he it's always not does no that. Sense. He always does that. You know, like the the conversation of selling the pro beyond the enthusiast. That's 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 absolutely asinine. Yeah, Again, if, if, if if anyone if anyone buys the pro outside of the enthusiast, that's a that's a win for PlayStation. There, like okay, you bought you bought a, a more expensive joint. But everybody know that when it comes down to it. The, the the base p- PlayStation, which is going to be the new Slim, that's always going to be mm-hmm. the the one that people are going to gravitate to the most because yes, it's a cheaper one. Obviously, it make it's, it's common sense. But yeah. if you want more, you pay more. That's how we always. I, I'm not going to get a 4090 GPU for the price of a uh, 4070 or 30 or uh, 3090. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? If I want more of of what I can get out of PC or whatnot, I I, I have to spend more. It's just coming but what you should do is you should ask them, yeah, to just reduce the price of the 4070 and then introduce a 4090 at the same price as the 4070 was. Yeah. Actually, no, not yeah. 4070, 4060 <laughs> was. That's what you should ask them to do. Like, like that is a perfectly reasonable that, thing. No, you know? No. Yeah. Just be like, wait, oh. did you just release the 4060 or 499? Yeah, yeah, no, no, just, just stack that down the scale. Yeah. Just, just push that to $100. Sell the 4060 to 220 you know? to 299. Exactly. You, know, you know what I hate? Like oh, man. when you when you try to paint the picture like in any consumer product, this happens where there's a high end product and it costs more. And you apply that to anyone's logic that's that's trying to, you know, say the PS5 Pro should be cheap mm-hmm. or whatnot. 
they they're gonna say, "Oh, you're calling from Warren or you're a fan." <laughs> We're like, "No, yeah, I'm pretty sure you get an LG mm-hmm. P3. It's yeah. not gonna cost the same as the the B3. Or, you know what I mean? Like, yo, yeah, no, you're right. You're right, you're right about facts. this. No that's one facts, facts. complains <laughs> that yeah. first class tickets exist, even though it's on the same plane going to the same destination. Exactly. Yeah, you see that. Exactly. Coach seats is it. like you can get coach seats for like three hundred dollars. You move yeah. up twenty feet, the seats are now two thousand. Yeah, just yep. because you Especially moved on up these transatlantic 30, flights. <laughs> just because, yeah, just because you moved up like thirty feet, no one says a thing, even though it's the same yeah. plane going to the same destination. It's all yeah. about arriving at the same money. time. Yeah, we all listen. No one's, no one's leaving until everybody's on board. Doesn't matter how much you paid. We all on this sucker. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing. Yo, changing. that is one hundred percent true. But nobody true. complains mm-hmm. about the various tiers in the same plane. You got first class, yeah. you got business class, then they took coach, and then they said, you know what we could do? We could take a couple of seats, move it up five inches, and call it Coach Plus, and add another yeah, $2. Ima- $2. Imagine going to a basketball game and be like, hey, you, you at the, uh, uh, the, the front, you, sh- you, sh- you should be, uh, the, I, I should pay the same price. You cost as yeah. much as the bleachers, <laughs> even though you're all watching the same game. Like I said, gaming is the only business industry that has these consumers. That is absolutely mind blowing. Like I'm like, holy cow! Like you, like you can't have anything expensive in this industry, even though everything else. You know what I'm saying? No, no, like, they're telling you that you're being ripped, you're being ripped off. You know, yeah. this is this is what you're encouraging. Because I made a tweet similar to this on on, on Twitter, being like, I don't understand the hate behind the PlayStation Five Pro. And while I wasn't specifically talking about price, I had people coming in telling me that Sony is just abusing us. They didn't fulfill the promises here. They didn't fulfill the promises there. And I'm like, listen, I'm fine with it. If you believe that Sony did something wrong to you, don't give them your money. Sell your PlayStation. Like, do whatever you need to do in order to oh, basically you should, you should, not you support the company. Oh, yeah, give you an example. Out. But they won't leave. If them out. Yeah. That's what, you know, every time you ask somebody, okay, if PlayStation is doing that, give me an example. Because I don't know how anyone can say PlayStation is not fulfilling what they've been marketing. Everything they've been marketing as far as what the console can do, they do. In their yeah, game. they're doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. It's, if anything, to me, it's the third party that's lagging behind. Because yeah, Sony's exactly. first party is up ahead in front of everybody. Just follow their lead. Do what they do. And your game will, you know, look even better. You know? But shit is crazy. No, it's 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 com- it's completely crazy, you know. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? We talked many like I think it was about a year ago, and we talked about the concept of PlayStation Five Pro, and we both said, you know, Puerto Rico and I, that it wasn't necessary. I still mm-hmm. feel that way. So then I was thinking, okay, if I was Sony and I was trying to, you know, create this PlayStation Five Pro, who would it actually attract? I don't think it's for the PlayStation enthusiasts. Obviously, we get to benefit, and obviously, we will buy it, blah, blah, blah. Cool, cool. But I think it's, a, it's to attract a new type of gamer, hopefully a PC gamer. Because if you can tell a PC gamer, like, hey, that performance that you're used to, that you know, level of fidelity and frame rate that you prefer, there is now a box that can cater closer to that solution oh. for you. You 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 say you so know? he's going after the 16, 1660 Ti guys, the guys who pretend. You you said the Sony's going after the <laughs> fake master race, the dudes, the dudes who think that the go. dudes who act like they got forty nineties, but they still exactly. on that nine eighty. Nine eighty Ti. Exactly. Yeah, still play, exactly. They still play. Still play 1080p. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> so so yeah, yeah. Uh, you can you can give them some measure of dignity by being able to say, "Here is a here is a console that can give you that." So yes, as you know, Jay Barry obviously being a huge PlayStation gamer, he's gonna love it because who doesn't like more performance, right? Yeah. But the thing oh, is, <laughs> if you. you're trying to attract a new type of crowd. You should create something that other people will be interested in, and I think you're not going to get the mobile gamers, right? You're not going to no. get the cloud gamers because they are like Nintendo ten years ahead of time. You know, you're not going to get Nintendo. You if know, anything, they, they will never. Sony, come. Sony, Sony has to create something that's like 580p, 30 frames. Then you'll get it. <laughs> it it's 24. It's cinematic. It's cinematic. Yeah, oh no, you're gonna see. You're gonna see a lot of hypocrisy when that Switch Two get announced. Oh, going yeah. to you know, I don't know. You know, the one thing that is crazier than PlayStation 5 Pro rumors are the Switch 2 rumors. People think it's going to like be the, the performance of a PlayStation 5. And I'm like, guys, the size difference, like there is a reason behind it. Like, I don't like 
<laughs> and the thing is, is Nintendo like isn't with a hardware company like that. It's not like you can be like, oh, we'll Nintendo. Be lucky, they... Listen, we'll be lucky if that thing could perform like the PS4 Pro. We'll be lucky. I would be amazed. I'll be, at that. I would be surprised yeah. because I'll be happy. I would be that. amazed if he can do PlayStation Four base. Like <laughs> I, I, was, I was, I was, I was. PlayStation Four <laughs> games were amazing. Like Last of Us Two is a base <laughs> PS Four game. <laughs> Is so I'm not that? being I'm not being malevolent, but if it can do <laughs> base PS4, I mean, <laughs> you win. I think you I win. think it will match it or it'll be close. I don't think it's gonna be like toe to toe with it. I don't think it's gonna be toe to toe with base PS4, but it it will be like it'll be uh, right here. No, but yo, what what got me crazy about the PS5 uh, uh, Pro specs? Like yeah, it came from like a good source when it's coming from it. But what made it really solidify, in my opinion? The is when it was same now nah, Tom Henderson, the same dude, he was like, Yo, PlayStation is doing an internal investigation. Oh, yeah. they're, they're gonna be like, yo, yo, that's <laughs> where he was like, I right, yo, this might be real, dog. Yeah, it's, like, real, okay. dog. it's real. They're like, Yo, who snitched out here? They got everybody in the room, they closed the door, ain't none of y'all leaving. <laughs> Who's like, yo, we go, we go three people. <laughs> they, they gotta, gotta be one of y'all. They, they got the yeah. samurai. So they come out with the samurai swords. Who dishonored yeah. themselves? <laughs> yeah, now now you can't leave. What do they say in Bronx Tale? Now you can't leave. <laughs> oh yeah, Sunny from Bronx Tale. You can't yeah. leave. Oh, yeah, you shit. Can't leave. oh that, that's interesting. All right. Hey, let me move on. Yeah. So now I'm gonna minimize y'all so we can get up to the next part. Um so there's some there's some a lot of people are how would you say? Well, you know, Xbox gamers, Xbox enthusiasts, they're a little bit um how would you say concerned? There, they, there's some they're a little bit shook. That's what they yeah. are. They're shook. <laughs> they're shook. They're shook at the. Yeah. At the I think, at, I think that's they're, putting it lightly. Yo, know, they're, 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 they're a little bit. They're a little bit concerned at the possibility of PlayStation releasing a full-fledged mid-gen refresh with significant power, and the only thing Xbox is doing is releasing pretty much the Xbox Series X without a disc and maybe a new controller or something. Um, let's listen to uh, shout out to my good friend Fonz Gaming, my man. Man, his channel is really doing great, man. Let me hit, let me hit the like button, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, of course, he has hard grit. You can see hard grit. Oh man, I feel bad. Oh, hard grit, man. You, man, I feel bad. Hard grit, man. Listen, we need to get you on a podcast. We need to. It's time to heal, bro. Like, bro, it's time <laughs> to heal. Like, my man is feeling it. He's going through it, bro. Shout out to Navens, or he says Border Rock has to pay fifty more for his pro because he lost a bet to Z. The super chat should help out a bit. <laughs> it's, 60 bucks. it's actually sixty bucks. I'm gonna have to pay Z sixty bucks. Well, but you know what? What was it? What was, what no, was that, so no, because in the beginning of Jan, he said there's gonna be a pro, and I said, ah, there's no way. So I thought there was not gonna be a pro at all. Oh, you, 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 you really, it, really it, it is, it is shocking because the philosophy around PC has pro. changed. I was happy uh, right. with PlayStation. Before, before with the PS4 Pro, it was to compete with PC. Yeah. Now that they're not like, competing with PC. Exactly. So when Sony started putting games on PC, I'm like, why the fuck did we make a Pro? The the original reason was to try to keep gamers. They even said it. I think it was Sean Layden. No, not Sean Layden. It was um. No, it was Andrew House. Andrew House. He <laughs> says one of the data they noticed was eventually PS console games would leave for PC due to better performance, so they created the Pro. So then yeah. once they I mean, started, then that would be the same logic now. I don't understand how that but is. Exactly. Now you see why I thought I had an easy win. I was half right. Mm -hmm. Microsoft's not doing the pro, but Sony is. I'm like, you motherfuckers. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but, no, but I mean, like, what? Sony will still want to keep people from moving to PC. Shout out, shout right? out to Nathan Zor. Thank you so much for the super chat. He said, help a brother out. But I'll be glad to play Z. He's 60. He earned it. He called it. And you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. Pray for Xbox, according to Jay Bari. You know, like, share, subscribe. You know, and if you want, consider becoming a member. But let's listen to this, right? Let's, let's just listen to this real quick. <laughs> and this is what I, I say is it would look bad for Microsoft. If Microsoft sends any more of their big games over, they could have definitive versions of Microsoft games on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Could. Okay. And that's kind of a bad look. It's kind of a bad look. I, I'll, I'll be very honest. I don't think anybody really cares except for us. Nobody pays attention. Because if this was an issue, the Xbox One X would have wiped the PlayStation out. It would have wiped it out. That didn't happen. I think, I think it is an issue. And here's here's where it I'll argue with you. Um, I think it's, it's more... It's an issue for you. 
No, 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 no. It's I think I think more people. casuals <laughs> these days hear things about this stuff. They don't get really get into the tech aspects or anything. But I will say yep. that more casuals these days, I mean, they're the ones, the majority that are buying these consoles. And if you look at uh, the console sales now, um, I, it's two to one now. PlayStation I Five is more. way out selling the Xbox. Yeah, I don't think it's going to change. Series anything. X. It's and, still going to be PlayStation. And, and I th and I think that will never change. And here's the reason why: Casuals have gotten to the point where they're already telling their friends, other people, PlayStation's better. PlayStation's better. It doesn't matter about these specs and everything to them, right? But here's the yeah. big thing: GTA Six is possibly the biggest game to, uh, that's going to come out in many many years. Yeah. And if if Sony gets marketing rights to GTA 6, <laughs> it will hurt Xbox in ways that I don't think they could recover. And I'm not saying that I they mean, would go broke or whatever, but I'm talking about in terms of console sales. I'm telling I mean, you, it's, it's the casual possible. market right now has already spoken and they've spoken with their wallets and they bought PlayStation 5s. If they have GTA 6, the de definitive edition on the PlayStation 5 Pro, and then they also have the marketing rights, it is going to hurt Xbox. So you think the majority of this? So what do you think about that, guys? His statement that because of the Pro, the marketing rights and the conversations, um, PlayStation coming out, and everybody, G G GTA Six is a phenom, right? We know that those are one of those cultural games. Yeah, it's just it's just a cultural game. It's just iconic. It's it's it, it transcends. It's like the one of the biggest things in gaming, period, right? So it's gonna be all over. Everybody's grandma is even gonna know about Grand Theft Auto when that comes out. It pretty much <laughs> will dominate the industry, the headlines, everything, right? I feel sorry for any game that's launching that's probably why sony doesn't even have a roadmap because they're just waiting for gta 6 to come out so they could go back and start talking about their games because gta 6 is coming and just swallows everything right so you got gta 6 everywhere you got that guy from florida joker trying to sue him you got everybody you got senators trying to ban the game i mean it's gonna completely take over every aspect of life right and then with the pro the the because there'll be no pc version so there'll be no PC guys inserting themselves in a conversation saying we got the best version. No, you don't, because it doesn't exist. So whatever reprieve console has, PlayStation is the one with the definitive version via the Pro. How, how much impact do you think that will have, not just on the brand, but also on the Pro? We'll start with Jay Bari. When the word gets out, yeah. like, yo... GTA 6 is crazy on the PS5 Pro. That shit's just bananas. Yeah, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a big impact. And yeah, that's a that's a perfect game. Uh if Microsoft is not combating the PS5 Pro, yeah, that's gonna be a game where heck, the enthusiast, the hardcore, the 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 casual, that word of mouth is definitely gonna pretty much destroy Xbox because a lot of people's gonna be pushing, oh, but you can play this game. Here at this level of fidelity and this frame rate, you can push it further here with this console. And if the, if 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 PlayStation is marketing the pro, which I don't think they're gonna really go super super crazy marketing it, you might see like little tweets here and you know YouTube video here. I don't think they're gonna go TV level with it. But if they was to do that behind a GTA Six uh, trailer, like come on an ESPN or NBC or ABC, oh yeah, it, it's it's a it's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's over. Yeah, I agree with Jay Barry. Depending on how they market it, I think mm -hmm. that's where we're just sitting at with the price. And shout out to Zuby Tech, who and I feel famous now. He actually tweeted me back. Uh, he said that the PS5 is going to be the, the definitive, I believe, let me paraphrase, the, the, the definitive machine that the, uh, the GTA gets marketed on. But I, I think people are putting way too much on it. Even Sean Layton said on... Uh, What's up, PlayStation? Shout out to Jay Barr and Persona getting that interview. He said that the first party devs, and I, I've said this before as well, but let's give him credit here. Uh, the, your first party devs, they're the ones who are mixing the drink that show, want to show, you know, we this is what you can do. And again, I don't expect third party developers to do that. So 
Um, and that includes the, Rockstar. I mean, I can be the surprised. Thing is, the thing is, though, Craig, if mm-hmm. let's say let's say the rumors, I think this is what they're saying that GTA Six is going to be thirty frames per second, but on the pro, it's yeah. sixty or higher. Oh, it, it's, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. What, you're right. Word of mouth. Right. Word of mouth is going to stomp. It's going to stomp the hell out of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, like, you're right. You're right. I agree. Oh, I, I don't disagree, but um. I think the 30 frame thing is coming from the fact that they're talking about games that are out right now. That if the game is right now, if it's 30 frames per second, it's not going to jailbreak and all of us all of a sudden give you 60 out of that 30. Now, that's why I was saying the other day that I think games that are 40, I know God of War has got like a 40 FPS mode and I might think some other games do that, that are PlayStation first party. Those games can very well go to 60. Very well. We have to wait and see from the performance what we're going to get. But uh, yeah, I don't expect games that are thirty to just jump to sixty. I hope I'm, I hope I'm wrong. I want to be well, wrong. Well, but well let me ask you this: We we'll use Dragon Dogma two as an example. It's four K thirty locked. There's no performance mode. Yeah, it's four K thirty across the board. Only PC can play sixty. Dragon Dogs mode two on the PS five Pro. You don't think mm-hmm. they'll be able to get that? So 4K 60. Now again, 4K could be checkerboard, pisser, whatever trickery. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a do pisser, the upscaling. No, we're calling it yeah. pisser, bro. We ain't okay. it. it's pisser. Yeah. With the pisser technology. <laughs> you know, with the pisser technology, AI upscaling, yeah, all the trickery. Good. They you don't think they'll get that game to 4K 60 with all the trickery? Um, I think it's possible, but I just have to wait and see on the performance. Um I see what you're saying. Can they can they start the screen at 1080p and then upscale it dynamically? Or what they're going to use the quote unquote pisser? Uh, they're they're going to have it uh, go from uh, 1080p or to 1440p or 1600. Do, do you guys yeah. do you guys know Mag? Or even uh, for, oh, how about this? Not even 4K 60 mm-hmm. because right now it's 4K 30. No options yeah. for 60 at all. But with yeah. the PS5 Pro, now you have a performance option of 1440p 60. How about that? Yeah, I mean, again, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it did say uh, on that Insider Gaming that it was going to target 1440p60. My whole point on that is they already have games for PlayStation right now doing that. So yeah, well, I'm just, uh, I'm going to have to wait for performance. I mean, I'm I'm at this point now willing to say, yeah, yeah you, it you is. Have this, you have good Dragon's Dogma 2. Look, yeah, that, yeah that looks that fantastic. Yeah. Open world like that, that would be yeah. impressive. Yeah, uh, exactly. p 60 yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have we have Mag. He's like he get like inside information. Uh, yeah. He was on Eastwood podcast where he's like a, uh-huh. a co whatever, and he's saying that his information that EA is reporting that Star Wars Jedi Survivor they're getting 4K 120 with that game due to the the, the Pixar. Uh, the uh, uh, okay, yeah, but is pro, it, yeah. yeah that, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I did see that. Um, that's what I'm talking about. But that's a, and again, that's the techniques that uh, that we've been talking about to you guys is um, they're going to take a, an upscaling technique and then have a little more budget to go elsewhere. Now, I mean, I hope that's right. I mean, I, I want it to be I right. Think, I think uh, it's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's on Twitter. Yeah, so I hope that's what they're able to do. I just. I don't. Um, I hope it is. I mean, I hope that's one of the games that, that they're able to show off, show off your first party games, and and go from there. So, uh, but that's we. That's where we're at with it now. We just have to wait on performance. So, because Digital Foundry, I when they came out, it was either going to be hit them or NX Gamer. When they came out and confirmed it, it's like okay, this is real. So this is real. Mm. I can't stand Digital Foundry. I just want to say that. <laughs> but yeah, one one, one quick thing. One quick thing, yeah, okay. No, because people use Digital Foundry like like that necessary. No, nah, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it because here's the truth: you don't need them. You, you don't need them to do anything at all. You know. Yep. So, in any case, like uh, Craig was saying, all of these specs on paper they mean nothing. Yeah. Zilch yeah. nada. You need to be able to see the only the only good part about letting the company actually introduce a product to you. Is that they will introduce it to you from a you should care about it because of this reason perspective. 
All of these paper specs, they do nothing. Please stop embarrassing yourselves by saying, oh, it's 16 T-flops, or it's 33, or it's 36. Like, the thing I don't like about the PlayStation camp is that you people pretend to be more smarter, more sophisticated than the Xbox gamers, and yet when the ball seems to be in your court, you make the same mistakes. Like, you create the same files as they do. Stop talking paper specs. Just don't. Like, you just saw what happened when they kept going about 12 T-flops and it amounted to nothing. You guys could come out talking about the 3 T-flops and it amounts to a PlayStation 4 Pro kind of jump, which was nothing. It was a garbage console. I will always say the PlayStation 4 Pro was garbage because it didn't have a big enough jump over the PlayStation 4. I'm sorry, it just didn't. It was a, it was a so, mid, but it was just a mid-gen refresh. It was a mid-console. Yeah, well, it was you know, supposed the thing to. Is, it, was, it was a mid-mid-gen refresh. He, he like, it, it just yeah. wasn't he hot. It was, you said it wasn't a mid-gen. It was just mid. <laughs> yeah, just, it, yeah, M-I-D. Yeah, mid. <laughs> So, but no, I think though, I think you're right. You know, I think I think the, the whole team problem with conversation. the PS4 Pro is that it was targeting only resolution. It was yeah. Well, I mean, what, and what, what, they were targeting a 399 what, price point. Whatever, yeah, it was, what they were doing. whatever it was, it came out and it was a mid console. And again, I got it. I had it. I played over thousand hours with it, and I was like, meh. It was it was mid. Now, mm -hmm. the PlayStation 5 Pro should not be made, but you're not going to be able to tell that by looking at the paper specs. So stop bragging about it. I mean, you mentioned Zubitec before, and the thing is, I appreciate Zubitec. I do, because he's just passing on information. But yeah. then sometimes they have to put source on it. They have to compare, compare it to the 4070, the 4080, the 4090. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Why are you taking an entire system and comparing it to a specific card? That's something that I never understand. I'm like, what's the CPU this thing is supposed to be matched up with? Like, well, it's no, so I think dumb. But it I think your exchange. Let me just finish. It will be yeah, like it will be like comparing an entire house to mm -hmm. a faucet. Like oh, no, you're right. Well, but I think your exchange <laughs> with uh, you had with Gaz was 100 percent on him. I think you were right when you said, "Why are they even in this conversation? This is a console. This is not as as soon as those specs quote unquote leaked. And again, it was a leak. The PC people jumped into the conversation. So yeah, yes. I don't know why. I don't know why they're here. That's all I'm saying. And the places of people go yeah. and, and and also involve PC. Like again, system. There are some consoles because right. I seen it talking shit. They're mentioning yeah. 480. Now of course they're trolling, some are in is a Yeah, you gotta you gotta distinguish the trolling on the server. Yeah, yeah, J like, Dub is trolling, but yeah. some of them think yeah, that you that, actually that, can make yeah, this comparison. Even J Dub was like, Wow, no, yeah, J Dub's J trolling. No, so I talked to J Dub, he's like, I didn't think people were gonna run with it. He's like, Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. He's like, God damn, <laughs> he was just joking. J Dub was like, I was just joking. Yeah. These dudes actually ran with it. You know, yeah, they ran with that shit. <laughs> but no, uh, like we, seriously. It's like you're comparing the entire house to a fucking faucet, okay? I don't care if the faucet costs as much as the house. The point is, you can't compare the two, okay? Mm -hmm. So, listen, paper specs mean nothing. Craig has been telling you that. Wait for the performance. But going back to the original topic, which was GTA 6. GTA 6 will be a massive boost for everything that it touches, okay? It will be a boost for Xbox. It will be yeah. a boost for PlayStation. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's going to be rocket fuel for what would normally be a niche device if it happens to position itself as the factual objective best place to play this game people will go I for agree. that specifically because of this game this yeah. game will warp the reality that we normally live in that's what it will do i was trying to think to myself about another moment where a particular app literally warped the reality of a, of a platform and the only one i can think of really is itunes and i'm sure there's better examples of that but maybe also google maps after like apple took away google maps for a while because they're trying to promote apple maps but the apple maps weren't good and people were like wait like if i can't have google maps i'm gonna go to android but that wasn't as big a thing you know yeah the i think maybe this, yeah go ahead I'm the, sorry. The, the point is this gta 6 will be something that will during the period of his introduction, right, he will probably push the numbers up so that you see 30 or 40 percent of the console souls being PlayStation 5 Pro again if there is a substantial difference. Because these are, you know, it, it would be like um, if Valve created Portal 3 and Half Life and Half Life 3, and then they package that in a single disc, and then they were like, hey, this is only available. Or like the fifty ninety, 
guess what? <laughs> You're going to see a very distorted reality where a lot of PC gamers are going to get the PC 90, the 5090, not because they want it, but because they want the game that can run on it. Yeah. That would change no, reality. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's no, let, let me, can I say this real quick about your yeah. point but before the GTA? I agree with you with the GTA 6, but I disagree with you when it comes to the whole paper specs. I, I, would, I would agree if it was just like a completely new generation where you don't have a use case scenario of the base console mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, the PS5 Pro is just a souped up version of what you already have. If yeah. you were disappointed with the performance with PS5 uh, now, or if you're, if you're pleased with PS5 performance now, I don't think you can say like, oh, that's because the paper specs here, you're going to think the PS5 Pro is not going to be up to snuff. No, it, it's just going to be performing better anything that the PS5 can do now. Like if it was it's just PS6 and you know me listen out specs, then yeah, I'd be like, it's not proven. There's no, there's nothing there to to, to judge it off of. But no, no, but you you're one hundred percent right. Yeah, but we don't know how much more, be how much better it will be. That's that's what I mean. Like people are trying to then take these specs and are trying to do the multiplication game. They're trying to say, oh, uh, this will be thirty three T flops again. Let's just assume that's true, and this is at ten. Therefore, I can times X. You know. And then I'll get the performance out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It, it never works like that. So what I'm trying to say is like, in, in light of us, like... You got to see a trailer. Truly, trailer um, exactly, trailer. exactly. The, 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 like, in light of us being, not being like console architects, right? Just do not make the comparison at all. Just avoid it. You know it will be better, but you have to wait on information from Sony and from the games officially to yeah, let you know really how good. much better... You know, so, so yeah. the thing is, it, it's, it's a meaningless conversation until we have that moment. Like, I know it will the be The real world results. It's totally real world. Yeah, the real world results. I mean, just, just go back to the epic demo that was done four years ago where the girl took off flying. Epic, uh, up to that point, it was the PS. The PS5 is weak. The, the Xbox has VRR, VRS, STD, STI, whatever you want to say. We, but nobody saw anything running. The first time we saw something running was that game running. And, they, and Epic specifically said at least four times, all running on a PS5. It was, it, was so, it was so detrimental to the industry, that demo, that Linus with Linus Tech Tips literally got his cheeks busted by saying some stupid ass stuff. So I understand what, so I agree with him uh, when he's saying that um, it was, and, and Reforged Gaming, shout out to him, his podcast today, that the specs were disruptive. And the only thing I can think of, me being an old man, is when Windows came out, how that just disrupted the entire PC industry, like from top to bottom. It, it changed when they walked that into the stores and uh, they were showing people how that was going to work with the drop down and the clicking and all that stuff. So, um, I've said this before. You just, just as when the PS5 was announced and everybody said it, it was only 10 T flops and things like that. When you saw that that demo, everything changed from that point in time. Everything changed, and it's it's been different ever since that girl took off flying. That's when the conversation this generation changed from the power and 12 T flops and things like that. Uh, it changed. So I agree with what Elm is saying here. Grand Theft Auto, in this case, could be that the industry disruptor if if it is positioned where Sony can literally come out there with Rockstar and say, the only way you're going to get these graphics, this type of performance, the, the sound, because the sound is a big upgrade too, um, is on the PS5 Pro. At that point, yeah, I agree. Major disruption. Yeah, but we got to wait. That's all I'm saying is let's not put... Let's, let's not count our chickens before their hats, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Persona just joined before I let you speak, Persona. Hey, thank you for the interview, Sean Lader. You did amazing. What I loved about it was your energy. So I never got a chance to actually say thank you to you directly. Just wanted to get out of the way. Go ahead. Oh, oh yeah, 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 man. I appreciate First, that. Real talk. Persona with the super chat saying big shout outs to P Rock. No, shout out to you and Jay Barry, bro. Listen, did yeah. I not say from the get go when you guys started thinking about what's up playstation i'm thinking yo you guys are gonna end up being the best playstation podcast bro i'm telling you bro bar none unquestionable best playstation podcast period bro 
Yo, that that yo that um you know Sean Ray didn't interview that shit is fire, man. I hope you get more people. Listen, you need to get the see whoever's the next CEO. You need to get them on there, bro. Need to I, want, I, want, I, want, I want I want I want Jim, man. Listen, if you have yeah, to fly to Japan, Japan to yourself, <laughs> you better go fly to Japan. <laughs> if hey, you gotta man, go to that's, on the, that's on the itinerary. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yo, yo, so man. now that you joined. Give it. Give me your perspective on two things. Number one, we'll start off with this because I want your perspective of people um, looking at the pro as something that should be still geared towards the casual by pricing at four ninety nine. What's your thought on that opinion? Do you feel is reasonable, or do you feel that's a wrong way to go because that will impact on what the pro really is meant to do? Yeah, you know, so, you know, I was talking about this um, the other day on my show as well. You know, when it, when it comes to uh, something like a PlayStation 5 Pro, it's, I, I kind of find it strange that people are actually going with that notion that this needs to be competitively priced because it's not necessarily meant to be something that's mass adopted. You know, it's, a, it's an enthusiast product. And, I, and I, I did a comparison of the DualSense versus the DualSense Edge. Both yeah. controllers... Mm-hmm. serve the same purpose of you being able to play your game on a ps5 or pc or whatever but with the edge this it's a higher price at 200 dollars. but you also get the added benefit of the back paddles button mapping and all these other different bells and whistles that may take your game and experience to the next level you don't need to buy a dual sense edge to enjoy spider-man 2 or God of War Ragnarok, or, or, or whatever game that you're playing on a PlayStation. But if you do buy a DualSense Edge, you do get the added advantage or the added benefit of what that controller offers at the price point. I think with the PlayStation 5 Pro, it's the same concept. It's If you decide not to buy a Pro because it's, it's $600, so to speak, right? Or $650, that doesn't mean that if you already are a PlayStation 5 owner, you're missing out on any type of experiences with the PlayStation, especially from first party, where we see that first party has been very consistent with putting their, uh, making sure that their games run well, take advantage of the PS5s and their features and things like that. We're seeing that first party is, is 100% committed to that. So even if you aren't getting the PS5 for that heightened advantage of, you know, the PSSR or whatever that is, you know that you're still getting a, a high quality experience on a PS5. So I don't think that this should be competitively priced because it's not meant to be something that's mass adopted. Yeah. Good point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't disagree oh, at all. Oh shit, Craig turned on his camera. Chocolate Thunder is out there in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, a camera great, party, yo. Yo, yo Persona, <laughs> great comparison with the controller and the pro controller. Absolutely a uh, great comparison, right? Because in my Thank opinion, you. hoping the PS5 Pro launches at 499 to me, you're going to cap it. You understand what I'm saying? You're capping its potential to go after audience that even if you did price it at 499 they're still not going to buy it because the Slim is 399 And that's assuming it yeah. stays at that price. If Sony drops the price, let's say even 50 bucks to 349 they're not buying the Pro. They're not. No. They're gonna get the cheapest. No, and and and, and history treats a PlayStation. And history yeah. tells you that consumers typically would go for the cheaper option if if that if it if, if the experience is there, right? Mm-hmm. Just that you know, obviously you know we on PlayStation, but to bring it to Xbox, the highest selling console within the series platform isn't the X, it's the S, mm-hmm. which yeah. is a cheaper barrier of entry. Mm. So if a Pro is coming out and it's six hundred dollars. But then the digital and the physical versions of the regular standard OG PS5 is, you know, 350, 400. Most people would opt to get that over yeah. a pro. The pro yeah, is not. for me. The pro is for Bari, for, for, for everybody that's <laughs> here. That's what a pro is for. It's, for. it's for everyone that's here that's an enthusiast, that's really into that ecosystem. And I'm not saying that casuals wouldn't buy it too, because... You know, the other thing that I'm seeing a lot of people, and it's been happening for years, and you know this, P-Rock, people tend to think that casual gamers are stupid or they're incapable of being smart shoppers. And it's like, no, casual gamers or casual consumers in general, most consumers do their own research and they're smart enough to know if a product is something worth buying. And again, 
you know, not to make this like a versus thing, but if if casuals were so stupid, or or if casuals were didn't really weren't smart shoppers, the Xbox would be out selling the PS5. But clearly, casuals are going where they feel the experience would be much more enjoyable, which is PlayStation and Nintendo. You know, Nintendo and PlayStation are selling like hotcakes, and you get what I'm saying. So I just I, I don't like how we kind of put that. Some people tend to put this. This 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 notion on casuals of like yeah well they're not smart enough to discern between you know a PS five and a PS five pro no, I was like listen guys stop the same, the same casual fact, buying the best best you know, TV if, too you know in fact <laughs> so. PlayStation does this the most simplest it's like they're really simple like there's no they try not they don't try to confuze anybody right PS five all right we get rid of that PS five slim and we're just gonna stick with the slim PS five pro uh -huh. in the discussion they mm -hmm. just keep it real yep. simple. They don't do this. Yeah. Shout out to Ghost in the Garage Gaming. This dude with a hundred dollar super chat. He says, "What's up, P Rock and panel?" I think my man's also trying to say, "Yo, Paul Rock, you better get that pro day one." Here you go. <laughs> He's a little bit of funds to help you out. <laughs> I think he, he just, he just that. paid for your debts. He just paid I, for your debts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit! Yo, shout out to Ghost. Ghost. That's all Ghost do, yo. Ghost, Ghost. all you drop from the Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That, this dude, this dude just dropped hundos. He's like, that's all I got in the bank. I don't got bills. I don't got dollar bills. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to change. I ain't got change. He doesn't want to change. Like, he want change. Like, I don't want to change. I don't got. He's like, I ain't got, I, I ain't got room in my pockets to fill dollar bills. All right. <laughs> he's like, he's like, that take up too much space. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, shit, right here, deep both, both, both denies the the sense when you get back. You go to the store and so you get like 55 things. The ghost like, now nah, I don't need that. He, he's like, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> he don't even got time for the person to open the register. He just drops the hundred and walks away. He's like, I got too much money to make. I ain't got time to wait for your ass. <laughs> by, the time, the by the time you give me that change, I already lost a thousand dollars in the market. Stop it. That's a thousand dollars, D. Shout out to That's D Batch. He says, D Batch. In the tweet, he says, Not gonna lie, I will always be an Xbox fan. But does that? But that does not mean I have to stay on code. I say it like it is. I say that to say this: digital only Xbox Series refresh coming, ain't it? <laughs> Same performance as the OG Series X. Oh, yo, who I is forgot buying about that? This. Who is buying that over the PS5 Pro? Well, uh, see, and this, yo, and I think, I, I think this is, I think this is why you know, and, and I'm not trying to get on no console or stuff this is just like an observation but i feel like <laughs> you, you just yeah, I, I gotta you're, you're, my man left the hood he's like bro i ain't with that man you know what i'm saying i got i got yard work to do i got i got, I nah, got a lot I, I to gotta, take care of i gotta put those disclaimers out there because you know there's a lot of you know there's a lot of people that you know they can't yeah. take criticism and automatically that's label bro, they, they're but, gonna they're gonna say that anyway <laughs> you, you, yeah, be, i know alex is gonna clip y'all so it's too late he's gonna get you anyway so you might as well <laughs> alex is gonna get y'all <laughs> <laughs> but no nah, but you know when it comes to it's funny because the thing that i'm observing is more so people worried at the fact that if gta 6 is uh marketed through playstation which you know people need to go back in history and go back to when jim ryan uh was first announcing that ps5 was going to be um ps5 uh, uh gta 5 was coming to ps5 he said something very important at the start before he showed up before they showed off the game and he talked about the strength and the partnership between rockstar and how strong it is and how that would continue into the future that and again that was way back in 2020 that is something that i think a lot of people really need to pay attention to when it comes to playstation's ability to maintain strong relationships with their longtime partners right square mm -hmm. enix capcom rockstar and all these other different things gta is very synonymous with playstation yeah. it has been since the ps2 yeah you feel me so i agree i'm, I agree. I'm, not, I'm not i'm not gonna sit here and say for a hundred percent certainty because listen anything can happen microsoft can open a wallet and and all this i'm not saying i won't you know just to kind of you know cover my cover my my basis i won't say for 100 percent certainty but what i will say is i think a lot of people especially a lot of xbox fans know that that strength in that partnership and it's a no-brainer to go with playstation the most popular console selling the most breaking records and things like that if GTA 6 is marketed through PlayStation, has an exclusive, because you know how PlayStation is, when they market something, 
you get an exclusive mission, exclusive yeah. gun, exclusive skin, free the shot calls, all, yeah. all, all this great stuff. Great. That, I think a lot of people know, if that is the case, it's over. No. Like, it's done. Facts. Like, it's is, done. Is it, is it, isn't it already over, though? I mean, if you think about it. Um, what are they gonna do, right? If the other, other if Microsoft, uh, let's we say Xbox, retire. Them, we gotta retire. If Xbox Jingo. get the market a deal, right? What, what, like, what, what's gonna happen? The Series S is the number one selling console for them. How are they gonna market that for that audience? Like, how's that gonna be? Like, <laughs> like that's gonna be fucking crazy. <laughs> While well, Microsoft didn't even spend the money, it's not even worth spending the money. You're gonna play that thing at six forty p. Thirty switch at switch frames and resolution. Like, come on, what do we? What do we? But see, that those are the things. It won't be a game pass. It won't be a game pass. That's what they're gonna do. They go. But that's oh, they're just gonna, gonna cost like that's just gonna cost more than Activision. That's just gonna exactly. cost more than that, Activision. That, that, that's that's, what's, that's, that's a what's billion gonna, that's dollar make it, deal. That's yeah. what's gonna make it even even crazier though, right? Because you're gonna have the dual sense features, the haptic feedback, and all that. Three D audio, that, you know, three D audio, and all that. Which you know, PlayStation is definitely gonna show that stuff off and <laughs> demonstrate that stuff with their little short little trailers for certain games, yep. like they do. That on top of a PS5 Pro. And, you know, again, we don't really know if the specs is what they is or what it, you know, obviously you need to see real world examples, but if GTA 6, if the definitive version or the definitive place to play that game is a PS5 Pro, if that's being shown off and that's where everybody PS5, is, PS5 is able to also make it look really good with all these different things and whatnot, mm-hmm. again, I just don't see, and again, I do think people will buy it on Xbox. I'm not saying they won't. It's GTA. Everybody's buying this game, regardless of where you are. Yeah. If it's on your platform, you're going to buy it. Yeah. They're going to buy it. I think when it comes to PlayStation, that would be the definitive experience in the best place to buy <coughs> Well, we, we mean, know that. And don't that, forget, we reason. also got the pisser. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rockstar's yeah. going to take the piss out pisser. that pisser. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but you know what I mean, yeah. Well, hey guys, I got I got a bounce. I got a bounce. Right, so brother, but uh, appreciate all right, you all. Right. A great all podcast, right. man. You have a good one. Great. Yeah, take right, it easy, man. Yo, that appreciate first year of GTA everybody. six is gonna be big because it's not gonna yeah. be on PC. So. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, exactly. The, the first year or two potentially. I said that too. earlier. But um you gotta think about it. You got the PS5 Pro, and I said this uh probably a couple of episodes ago when people were gawking about the the lack of Sony's first party and stuff like that. I said, Hey guys. They got third party cranking out games. They got second party cranking out games. It's, they got their indies. It's no, no shortage of games being released. What if, just what if, and I say, I'm going to put my 10 4 hat on. What if Sony said, hey, we're going to wait to the latter part of the year to showcase the PS5 Pro and our first party games running on the PS5? Because think about it, like Puerto Rocky said, when they come out with a Pro, they're going to have to show you in just to show you uh, an example to justify you spending extra money to buy the pro versus just buying a regular PS5. Well, what if those first party games coming out do that, right? It, you you is running at the definitive version of it, but with higher frames and higher resolution and higher advanced textures and ray chasing and all this stuff. What if they? I mean, we already know. Sony's first party studios are the kings of making their games look good, but actually running on whatever, right? We, we saw a 1.86 T-flop system take on a 6 terabyte system and win, right? We've seen this before. So it's not like they really need the T-flops, but we've all said, imagine a Sony first party studio with more T-flops. If they can do what they're doing with 9 T-flops, 9 to 10 T-flops, imagine what they can do with more. Well, guess what? They're getting more. And I'm not doubting Mark Cerny at all. I, I don't think anybody at this point would doubt what he's making. He's he's already proven his point with what he needs to do. Um, so when this game, when, when this system comes out, I would say everybody's going to be looking at GTA 6. That is the de facto... From what I hear, the most important game this generation, and I'm not even doubting. That's right. definitely that's definitely the most important, uh, J Dub. But I I think for for me personally, mm-hmm. with the pro, I definitely want to see. Like obviously, I want to see you know GTA. I'm excited for that, but I really want to see first party. You know, I think we're at, a, we're at a, we're at a really weird position with PlayStation right now, where there's been a lot of 
messed up things happening behind the scenes that's kind of been trickling out. You know, we got the the layoffs, the studio closures, the cancellation of games, and <clears throat> them kind of being really tight lit when it comes to first party yeah. for a really long time now. Lackluster showcase last year. I think this year, especially if you come in with a pro, you definitely need to come with a first party lineup of showing some of those games. Maybe Ghost of Shishima, Ghost of Shishima 2, yeah. Concord, what Sony Ben is doing as well, yeah. and 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 utilize that PS5 Pro to, to to kind of push that and show what the power that can do, especially a Ghost of Shishima two on a Pro. Man, Listen, that, I, I, that's I'm streaming for that. That's streaming too. You you you've seen that streaming too running on the PS5 already, and it Man, is that might, that might have been no pro. Right I, mean, yo, I said, yeah, yo, it could be the Pro. Yo, that could have been the Pro. I said this yesterday. Yeah. I believe that streaming two was running on a Pro, bro. I feel like Listen, that was running on a pro, man. That avalanche, when you saw the scene with the avalanche, and you're going to have to traverse that, bro. Bro. Nah, that's like, the magic I'm, of listen. Kojima. That's the magic of Kojima. Yeah, that, <laughs> listen. Listen. And, he, yeah, that's make, the magic of Kojima. He'll, he'll, he'll and make the anything look like the pro. He'll make any system look like the pro. That is just Kojima. Kojima. You know what that is? When, 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 when Gorilla said, hey, here's our engine, and Kojima's like, I, I got some for that. Absolutely. <laughs> I can make this better. <laughs> Give Absolutely. me a day. Give me one day with this. Yeah, I mean, Absolutely. here you go. Take this back. Hey, you know Absolutely. what? Absolutely. But Jay Dub <laughs> brought up kind of a point that I think it was going to lead to. But let me use Jay Dub's point about PlayStation first party games and now how they look with the PlayStation from Pro. But I'm going to throw a little bit of curveball on y'all. I'm going to throw this curveball and see if y'all can hit. See how y'all feel about what I'm about to pitch to y'all. What no if, way. and this is just a what if, I'm just asking, how would you guys feel if Sony did have, and I, and, and I know Bari and Persona, they, they you know, I, I don't mean to do this to you guys, but what if Sony did have games ready to show, but they purposely held off on big showcases, big events, showing these games because they want to wait until the pros revealed, and then they're going to show you the showcase, the roadmap, whatever. Pretty much the idea was we're not going to do with all the criticisms you guys gave PlayStation was because they're going to wait into the pro. How would you guys feel about that? I'll start with Jay Barry. How do you feel if Sony planned that, that they purposely held off on showing stuff because of the pro? How would that? Oh, no, I, would, I wouldn't like that at all. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a, I think that's a horrible uh, uh, thing for them to do because at the end of the day, you 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 still you, why market it for the pro when majority of the people still is going to have that base PS5? So you know what I mean it, it, it wouldn't make any sense. Like the pro is just an addition, so you can show the games now, and then when the pro do come out, yeah, you can also put that low key here, uh, enhance frame rates and resolution of the pro. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah, I, I I I would be upset if that was true. All right, Persona, your view. Yeah, I agree with Barry. Um, I, I, feel like, I knew you two would not like it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't no, like that. If that shit comes out in the leak, oh my god, I feel sorry for that one. <laughs> yeah. on PlayStation podcast, you they'll be like, yeah, 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 here yeah, it's for me. fifty for two hundred episodes, <laughs> begging you. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely wouldn't like that because you know I feel like you you got a lot of studios and a lot of things that's cooking. You could show one or two things. You know, obviously you show fair games in Concord, but you really didn't show us anything from that. I feel like if you would have gave us a, a pretty good pro, look though. at those games. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> I, I can't. Yo, real talk. They're trying, they're trying nah, to show you that. They're trying to show not, you that piece of technology, bro. We put a nah, lot of time. A, I feel into like that that's piss. a. I feel like that's a bad strategy, personally, okay. because the PS5 isn't a bad console, right? As much as people are excited for the Pro and want to see that and see what games look like. Games on a PlayStation 5 look and run really well, right? Mm -hmm. Especially from a first-party perspective. So I feel like if PlayStation was holding off first-party to show their games on a Pro, why? If you're showing it on a PS5, you're still showing it in a good light because the PS5 is a very capable console, especially from a first-party perspective. So mm -hmm. show it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go with Extreme because I think J-Dub doesn't give a fuck about the little people because he's one of the 1% CEOs. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Extreme first because I think J-Dub's going to be like, man, fuck y'all PS5 gamers. <laughs> we ain't trying to hear this shit. What rock, I already know. I'm, what rock, I already, I already know. know. He's going to be like, I ain't trying to see this shit in fake 4K. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I already know. He's going to say some crazy shit. So I'm going to go with extreme. Right. What do you think about that scenario? That they did um, have. This is just a what if. They did have yeah. stuff ready, but they're like, nah, yeah. we're not showing you nothing until the pro comes out because we want to first reveal these games at its very best. Sure. Listen, I would love it, but not for the PlayStation 5 Pro. I would love it simply because I don't believe in seeing a game two years ahead of time. I know that your Bowie and Persona feel strongly about this roadmap and be able to see what is coming up and getting excited for that and getting hyped. I am on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. If you could show a game, and release it within a three month window, that would be my preference. So the fact that they would do it because of the new console would be incidental to me. I just hate the practice of, oh, let me show you Little Devil on the inside. You still haven't played that game. Let me show no, you the... um, Pragmata. Still haven't seen that game. Let me show you this game and that game. They still haven't come out. So again, I would love it simply because I think it would then mean that, hey, these games that we're showing you now on the PlayStation 5 Pro, because we are aligning it with the launch of the new console, you're going to get it within the next year, right? That, that, that would be my particular, like, appreciation of that. But let's say that they were still to do the thing where they're like, now that we've shown you the PlayStation 5 Pro, here's a game that you're going to play five years from now. <laughs> I, I still wouldn't like it. Does that make sense? Like, I don't... I well, just let, me, don't let, me, let me ask you this question. So for you, it's a timing um, thing. It's just last, timing. Last, yeah, it's, for me, it's a timing thing. Like, you're wasting timing. my time. Why do I know this thing if I'm not going to play it? Like, let me, what, let me, let me what ask did you this question, do for actually. me... Person, I'll, I'll let you ask. But what yeah. did it do for me to know about Pragmata four years ago and I still don't have it? I still have no idea what it is. Like, what has that done for me as a gamer? Nothing. It doesn't build hype for me. It doesn't make me look forward to the project. It just feels like you're wasting my time. Like, for me, it's a betrayal of what it is that you're supposed to do. And very few other industries do, uh, do actually do this. Like, you take a look at film. Usually, well, by the time that a film is, like, announced or shown the first time as a trailer, you're getting it within that year. Six months, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. six months. You look at, look at the new iPhones. By the time they announce, you'll get it like next month, the, the pre order start. <laughs> yeah. Like, true. Again, I, true. Understand, yeah. I understand why gaming takes so long. I'm not complaining about that. But I'm saying that I personally do not value the roadmap that goes beyond two years. So that will be my only particular consideration there. All right. Personally, got the question? Did you also feel this way or feel this strongly last generation? Absolutely. This, this this feeling was born from last generation. The fact that I had to wait for what was it? Last of Us Part Two, you know that took a while. Uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen that took a while, but I wasn't part of the conversation back then because I wasn't paying attention back then. But the point is, when I saw my time being wasted, I was like, "Yeah, fuck this! Why are we doing this?" So this new attitude that Sony has when they keep things close to the chest, I fucking love it. I love every bit of it because I'm just like, stop wasting my time showing me things I don't care about because you are pushing them for things like what did it do for Hellblade Two to come out in 2019, and you still haven't played it today. Like, thank God it's around the corner now. But what has it done to you for the past four years? Every single year, oh, Hellblade 2. Every year, Hellblade 2. Every year, Hellblade 2. Until finally, nearly five years later, <laughs> now you get to play it. What has that done for you? Oh, and then it turns out that the game is no bigger than it was the first time around. Like, <laughs> imagine waiting all of that time for that. It would have been so much better for me, yeah? It would have been so much better if Xbox had uh, announced Hellblade 2 Maybe not last year, but maybe the year before, like an 18-month window. And then every single three months, you get a marketing bit. You know, when they, you remember when they did the hairstyles and they did like, oh, how to dress up and, you know, play pretend in front of a camera? All yeah. of those marketing bits that they did, if they had come within the 18-month window, I would have appreciated it so much more. And that would have been better for me. So again, for me, it wouldn't be about the console. It would be about respecting your consumer's time because I hate this industry for putting out, hey, hey, Potterwalk, where's that game that you, you keep talking about? Is it like Lost Souls? Lost Souls, uh, Why you gotta yeah, bring yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. up, man? This ain't about seven damn years. Even wait, yeah, like, yeah, wait, 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 well, yeah, Los Solo side. Was, I've been waiting seven years for that motherfucker. Yeah, there you go. There you God. go. They wait, the they wait for the PS5 Pro. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, that shit. Yo, by the way, they had it the entire time ever since the PS4, but they were waiting for PS5 Pro. They yeah. were like, nah. Oh, what? shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yo, oh, shit. It's all I'm out. Hey, all right. Persona, you good? Any more questions, Persona?
No, I think he's good. Oh, he's deep. All right. All right. AJ, hey, though. All right. Give us your. Give yeah, us I'm your, good. I'm good. All right. Give us. Give us. Uh, your, all right. Well, okay. <laughs> he's like, so what? Here, here's my thing, right? Deal with it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I wouldn't have a problem with that at all. And I'm going to tell you why. It's not like we haven't been getting games. It's not like they've forsaken the gamer to hold off where you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs, waiting for some shit to come, right? We're so overwhelmed with games right now, with from third party and second party. It's like this shit is just crazy. I'm trying to finish Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, right? I'm on Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth. And then on top of that, fucking jumping back and forth between Hell Divers and. Um, and Pacific Drive. And then we got Stella Yams coming out. Then we got Roger Ronan coming out on Friday. Mm. And so on and so on and so on. Let them shits cook. I don't want... I, listen, no, if, if the, you can get them... No, 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 I miss, <laughs> no. Listen, listen. I know it's ready. You know, I, I know, you know, but to the, you know, let that shit, let that shit marinate. Because what's going to happen if they would have come out and obviously showed the games, I showed their whole hands, and, and I, I honestly believe, and I'll say this, as a fanboy, I believe stuff like that is done for us fanboys so we can fight and say, hey, my games are better than yours, even though we ain't gonna play these shits for like four or five years, right? It just gives us more bravado. Microsoft went out and showed their hands. So, what happens as soon as Microsoft go out and have a show? Then we're here complaining, oh, PlayStation needs to stay to play. We need, Well, like, bro, like, I get it. Yes, in a perfect world, I would like for them to show everything, and I'd like for all these games to come out in three months. But guess what? That shit ain't gonna happen. But we know when the games drop, there is no doubt in anybody on this panel mind that them shits is gonna hit like a nuke because they always hit like a nuke. That's just what PlayStation does, right? That's what they first party does. They don't miss. So it's okay if, let's say, this year is light on the first party. As long as they keep delivering on the third party and the second party, I'll be okay, but guess what? That PS5 Pro is coming at the end of the year, and we know next year we're getting Death Stranding 2, and we know we're getting some from, from, from Naughty Dog and, 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 and Somniac and Gorilla Games and, 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 and did I say Sucker Punch or whatever, uh, Sony Santa Monica and all of these. We know them shits is, is coming. And guess what? Not only are they coming, but I'll be able to play the definitive version of those games in higher fidelity on my PS5 Pro. Of course, I still got my PS5. And guess what? To, to, to the contrary to all the naysayers that's out there who think that um, these current-gen consoles are shit, they're not shit. They're actually great devices. And believe it or not, there's uh, a list. I think Digital Foundry released a list today. There's literally only four games this generation that's running on the PS5 that doesn't offer you 60 frames a second or 120. So let's stop acting like all the oh, all we're doing is getting 30 frames per second games. That's bullshit. Let's stop. Let's stop. Yeah, bro, the cap, I, right? said, I said the same let's thing. Let's stop the cap. Yeah. That's cap. I was really and that shit generally, that majority, shit generally yeah. comes from PC Master Race mm. that don't really play on the console. But mm. the console gamer, if you spend, listen, at launch, I spent $3.99, right, on a PS5. I also spent $4.99. But three, for three, not as little as $3.99. I can play a next generation console in high fidelity at 120 frames and 60 frames, right? And in a hundred percent of my first party games offer the the 30 frames, 60 frames, 120, the the 40 uh the the 40 frames and all the the, the different hertz and all, with ray tracing and all the the other solutions that they got. So this idea that Console gate consoles are struggling to do this. All of that is bullshit, right? All of that is bullshit. If your game doesn't look as good as Horizon Forbidden West or, uh, or Burning Shores, you have no fucking excuse to uh, for not delivering a sixty frame solution. Mm -hmm. So all of these fucking trash ass games that's coming out that's thirty frames a second. Those are the developers. You got to blame the developers because their games don't look as good as Horizon Forbidden West, which is a Big open world game with fucking big ass dino bots and transformers and shit. There is no, there is no excuse. <laughs> and the, and so we him. can't so take, they we can't the take four. Him. Exactly, we can't you know, take four. We can't take four <laughs> multiplats, right? 
and try to smear all of console gaming as it's struggling is because it's fucking not. It literally is not. So stop the fucking cap. And for those who think the PS5 Pro is not going to offer uh, 60 frames a second or more like that in GTA 6, they're fucking smoking. And the reason why they're smoking, again, it goes back to Horizon uh, Forbidden West. It goes back to other games that are big open world games. It goes back to some of the other games. Again, 100% of Sony's first party studios are, they, they offer the performance most. They offer that. Now, what I think the pro is going to do is going to take it from being 1440p in the check report and it's going to just push the fidelity even higher. But it's still going to be 4K. It's still going to offer you the performance and all of that stuff. So I think a lot of that conversation comes from insecure PC guys, right? And I get to say that because I got a fucking high-end PC with a 49 and shit. And I don't give a fuck about it, right? Well, your actual but, PC master race, like an actual yeah, one. I'm, you yeah, know, I'm, 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 I'm a fucking PC master race guy, right? actually have they, they they more powerful than me. Yeah. So so I, I get to say that. It's it's all cap. It's all fucking cap. <laughs> and before you come out talking shit about pisser, oh, shout out to Puerto Rock for the for, for terming that pisser. Before <laughs> you talk about the way you said it, it's pissar. It's okay. pissar, right? You, you gotta put the pinky. Don't you gotta touch put it the pinky up when you say it. Pissar. <laughs> yeah. Pissar. But before it's, it's, you before y'all start hating on that, because yeah, but the pissar. Because you gotta remember Jay Barry. Before they're going to come out and start pissing on the upscale technology and the FSR and the DLS cone that they're going to call it, you got to remember, even with a 4090, you motherfuckers still use DLSS3, right? You still use that. You still do that. So a lot of people, oh, yeah, they got to use the checkerboard rendering and all that shit. What the fuck you think DLSS is, right? You guys use that and you got your 4080s and your 4090s and your 47s and shit. So let's just stop the cap. I never yeah, understood why not, PC not zooming in guys. I never understood why PC guys it. who spent two thousand dollars on a GPU alone, not a PC, but just a GPU alone, would want to interfere in the console space. This is a console war. This is not a fucking PC war, right? Mm -hmm. This is a console war. This is between Xbox and and, and PlayStation. In, in Nintendo, and we don't even fucking talk about Nintendo, right? We just leave those guys alone at their own at their own juncture and stuff like that. But it's just the inferior. It's, it's something about being inferior, right? If, if I know I got a Lambo, why the fuck would I get in a conversation with some Toyota guys and pronounce that my car is faster or big? It should be. Look how much fucking money you spent on it. It's a difference, though. So I, I don't understand that argument. Um, it's just a lot of the PC guys out there. Not all, not all. I'm just talking to those select few. A lot of them are, um, they are, I guess they feel some kind of way because they feel like these guys can spend four or five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred dollars on a console and get the same enjoyment that I can out of something that it costs me collectively twenty five, thirty five, forty five hundred dollars to build. I don't, I never understood that PC is its own thing. Um, but that's where that conversation is coming from. Nobody from the Xbox side, I'll defend the Xbox guys, nobody from the Xbox side, uh, Xbox side or the, uh, the PlayStation side is talking shit about the PS5 Pro and what it's not going to do. And it, because we've already proven, Mark Cerny has already proven itself. And this is not a next generation. This is just a better version of PlayStation 5. So let's stop it. It don't need... Uh, a, a Ryzen, whatever. It don't need, um, you know, a Zen, whatever. It doesn't need all of that. Uh, it's supposed a console is a cost efficient way of gaming to get into 4K, to get into uh, enhanced frame rates and everything else. So I'll leave it at that, man. I'll just say I can't wait for the PS5 Pro. I believe it's going to sell gangbusters. Um, it's going to be the my, definitive my, way my whole thing, of GTA 6. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is like I don't get why people are so fixated on checkerboarding or native. Like, yo, the, the technology that is, is is so good now is Absolutely. like PS4. I can understand is yeah. something new, something you know that they're trying. But now with the technology, with DLSS, FSR, yeah. the Pixel, you know what yep. I mean? Yo, <laughs> who cares? Who cares if the joint is not native 4K? If that joint putting out 4K resolution, that shit look crispy Absolutely. and look good. Who gives that? I'm not zooming in 
two hundred percent to be like, oh, look at this. Guy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. You know, like, exactly. And, and I'm gonna be honest, right? I'm not gonna shit on Digital Foundry all the way. But what yeah, I will I say think is Digital Foundry they have their place. They have their place. You no, know, they definitely have their place. But what I will say, I, I did notice prior to Digital Foundry, right? Doing their analysis and all that shit. I feel like a lot of gamers enjoy gaming a lot better because they didn't really worry about the frames. They didn't really worry about the resolution. They didn't really even worry about a lot of these things. Now, the first thing you hear when the game is coming out, oh, man, I wonder what's the resolution. Oh, I wonder what the frame is, right? I wonder, I wonder this and that. And if you're that type of guy and you're insecure about your console and you feel like you want better performance and, and stuff like that, just go to PC and call it a day. Bro, but you, you I, I just never understood that. You hit on the nail because Hogwarts proved that. Because Bingo. of the whole thing, you know, with the LBGT community and all that, everyone stood away from that. Even Digital Foundry didn't yep. do no reviews. They, it was like a good solid two months before yep. they just finally decided to do a Digital Foundry review. They tried to stay away from it. There was yeah. no warring over that game. Nobody mm -hmm. knew who had the better version. Nobody knew about better frame rates or better pixelation. Everyone who had access to that game was just loving it that's it yeah that was the only conversation nobody yep. knew nothing about shadows or effects or nothing it was just like holy shit this game is dope and everybody's yep. buying it yeah so that's true. It's, it's, it's just it's just a fixation that um again i like to stay within the the confound realms of the console war this is xbox versus playstation who has the better games? Who has the better performance? Stick to that because once you get out of everything else, it all gets weird. Because from a PC standpoint, I know a lot of guys like to think that everybody has a 4090, but in a, in a 4080 and stuff like that. The truth of the matter is that a fraction of a fraction of a percentage own those high end cards. Yeah. That's just what it is. Majority of those gamers, majority of gamers play with Intel integrated graphics. So those people that play The Sims and Minesweeper and, Mi and Minecraft and shit like that, right? Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the stuff like that. Um, but there's a place for it for those gamers, but I think they need to stay in their own lane and let the console guys enjoy what they have because a console. It's on, it only costs you anywhere from you know two ninety nine to to four ninety nine or whatever, and it does the best at what it does for that price range. The pro is going to give you like Craig say shout out to Craig a little bit more, and that's what the expectation uh, should be. It's it's uh you have the technology that uh, I believe Mark Cerny created with the PSSR or whatever that's going to do DLS uh, DLSS type. Uh, solutions where you can get higher frames, potentially frame generation, potentially, um, uh, according to the leaks, it can take a 1080p image and upscale it clearly to 4K. And we've seen Digital Foundry with Cyberpunk say, hey, DLSS, um, checkerboarding on PC, uh, upscaling on PC, actually looks better than native. So if that's good for PC, why the fuck can't that be good for console? Console gamers aren't crying about it. As long as we get in great looking games, because I've always said this, I will I will pit Horizon Burning Shores against any fucking PC game. And hey, I'm gonna jump into Jada. Let me let me let me let me say this real quick. Go ahead. I agree. I agree with you on the on the sentiment that you know PC got like you know PC guys are always in console spaces or like PC dudes are you know this weird comparison between like you know consoles and PC. But yeah. honestly, the that statement, I think, would have been true five or six years, uh, uh, five, five or six years before, right? Mm -hmm. I think now, because you're seeing first-party games from PlayStation go to PC, I mm -hmm. think that's why you're seeing a lot of the PC guys emboldened to want to do these comparisons and, and talk about how this game is this and that and how people want this to look better than this and that and all this other stuff. But it should, it should though, right? Persona? No, it, it, it should if you have the power you, and you, the PC you would to do think, it. Yeah, but, he, but here's the thing, Persona. Right? If I'm a PC gamer and I want to play, play Horizon, you've already played that game two years ago, right? And I'm a PC and I'm a PC guy. I'm just not getting I'm just now being able to enjoy it. And of course I can say, hey, this is a definitive edition. If I have a strong enough PC to be able to run that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is there to brag about? You've already beat that game and moved on. Matter of fact, you're getting a sequel to that game that I won't be getting for another two years. 
So I just don't understand that compelling argument for that. Yes, I, no, I, I agree PC, with you. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Some PC games, I mean, some X, some PlayStation games are going to to PC. Um, but we've already beat those games and enjoyed them. So of course, it's I, I've I've spent well, five thousand dollars on my Ghost PC. Ghost of Tsushima is a so, perfect example. They're about to get it. That's a four year old game. Beat, yeah, we beat that game four years ago. I'm trying to. Get yeah, the but I think I think I, I I agree with you. But I do think that you'll probably see. People say, "Oh, well, Ghost of Tsushima plays best on PC," or blah blah blah. You know all no. that other stuff. You know, it should. Stuff it should. should. It should. I, should. I, 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 agree right? that, I agree that my it should, iPhone should be able to play that better. Like it's a new. The point that the point that I'm making yeah. is that mm-hmm. because a lot of because the lines with first party it's and not blurred. just for PlayStation but with Xbox as well has been so blurred. I think mm-hmm. this is why you're seeing a, an overlap of console or I should say PC people mm. in console conversations and, and trying to dictate how the conversation needs to go from a console perspective, despite them being PC players. The other side of that as well is you've got a lot of console converts that mm-hmm. went to PC, but still had that console mindset, which is why That's they're true. still there. You know, That's so I, I think it's a combination of those two mm-hmm. things of why you're seeing what you're seeing on social media in terms of the conversation. But when, when, when they do say, hey, I get to play the definitive edition of your console game or whatever, um, my reply is, okay, show me your DX Diag. Let me see how better you <laughs> will be able to play that game than my fucking PS5. If you're not willing to show me your specs of your PC showing that it's better than my fucking PS5, because according to Steam and according to other uh, industry people that actually has the stats, right, showing that majority of gamers, like literally 95% of gamers, don't have high-end cards that can run it better than a PS5 or an Xbox Series X or even an Xbox Series S, right? So it's like, if you're going to be out here, show your shit. Don't, don't cap, because you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like you and Barry say, I gatekeep. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gatekeep. Show me your stats. If you ain't got the stats, then shut the fuck up. It is what it is. And even if you have something that runs better than a PS5 or whatever, Kudos to you. Thank you mm-hmm. for supporting a game that we beat four years ago. Now the company gets to take that money and give us a sequel. We got Ghost Tsushima 2 coming out, right? That they're going to have to wait another four years for, or maybe two years, or even a fucking one year. It doesn't matter. We get to play it, just like GTA 6. The most definitive game of the generation. Guess who's going to be playing that? And that motherfucker won't be playable on the 4090. So at the same time, if you want to play that game day one, or day two, or month six, or month twelve, you are gonna have to pick and choose which console you're gonna play it on. And, 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 and kudos to to Sony and Mark turning in, but they created the PS5 Pro, so that'll be the definitive place to play it. And that's gonna cost you six, seven hundred dollars to play, and that is what it is. I have no qualms with that. Yo, J Dog, asking them for the PC specs is like asking them for the gamer tag. They're gonna tell exactly. you that you want the DNA. And she's so security. security. Why, why you need to see that? You, you don't need security it. number. Why would I allow them. you to hack into my shit? Absolutely. You want the IP address? Absolutely, docs. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I'm just trying to know your bar. Your bar. Yeah. I just, uh, I just beat Jules. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, before we move on to this <laughs> topic, shout out to True Virgil. He said this panel is the Legionnaire of Stallions. Man, this shit. But this panel's right here is the Four Horsemen. You got Extreme, Barry, right. Persona, and Jaden. Right. They're the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It's hey, man. Crazy. Hey, I, 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 I saw y'all on cam and stuff. I had to come on on cam, too. The whole crew. Hey, 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 that's what we're here. That's what we're here for, like, you know? Yo, we're here to attract horsemen, like-minded yo, people. I'm glad. Yo. But hey, yeah, I'm glad. Jay, 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 could jump up. Jay, Jay, Jay and, and Extreme look like uh, cousins. That's it. Oh, <laughs> that's my brother, man. That's my brother from down under. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. There you go. Hit the like button. Don't forget to vote on today's question, right? And we got SNK Forever. He said, P-Rock is feeling like cream corn from Black Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> he said, for that super chat singing, I'm running things. <laughs> I'm running things. Oh, man. Oh, That's shit. hilarious. Yeah, yo. Hey, yo. All right. Hey, so real quick, Shinobi said right out here, put out a little news. He says, gaming in Europe, February 2024 report. Here's some bullet points. Helldivers 2 was huge and a top seller, 56% on PC. Um, EA Football Club 24 was number two, followed by FF7 Rebirth at number three. 
Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Mm. PS5 was the number one console. Sales dipped uh, by 2%. Um, Switch sales dropped by 17%. And Xbox Series S, X sales were down 47%. Yeah, no. this, 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 yeah, this right here caused a couple of like riffle effects. First, my boy Tim Dog, he says, sad to see Xbox console getting outsold 10 to 1 in Europe. Gamers in general get real upset if you talk about real things and things that aren't good. The hardware number in Europe are extremely troubling. No two ways about it. When fans want to be real about a situation, you are welcome to hit me up. If you don't like hearing bad news, I don't know what to tell you, but it sucks to see this happening to the console. Even now, I want them to have a good console. Guess the next one really will tell the story or maybe get their foot in the door. I heard localization, absolutely zero marketing or caring has led this to such a gap in the market. We'll be done. <coughs> we'll be doing a space on it. Then we got Peter <coughs> Ovo. He said negative 40% hardware decline in February. Outsold 10 to 1 in Europe. Stop the doom and gloom. Phil Spencer played Fallout <laughs> with Colt Eastwood. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> and then yo, finally, my, 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 uh, <laughs> finally, Jazz Corden. He says, seriously, like, if I genuinely believe that Xbox was doomed at this point, you know what I do? I move on. I wouldn't cry <laughs> about it 24 7 on Twitter. I say my piece and then go play games or something else or whatever. It's all done. Set in stone. At Jazz, that Jazz is one of the dudes that started this joint. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, gets paid, he gets paid by him, so. You Yo, know. I think it's the same to say. I know we clown about Council War and shit, but I think it really is. It's over, bro. These dudes are the right, This shit Damn. is bad. Like, yo. Like, I'll be honest, I knew something's up when my, like, my DM box got a little lighter. A lot <laughs> less messages. I'm getting a lot, I'm getting a lot less stupid replies on my Twitter. I'm like, what's going on here? Like, where is everybody? That does. Hey, listen. Hey, for the rock. Listen, they don't know, but we got multiple DMs. And our DMs used to be full of box. Full of Xbox. And that shit cleared out quick. The room, the room left. <laughs> This person left. Listen, Ridge left. Doing, like, doing, doing, doing the whole, doing the whole ABK deal. It was, oh it was nothing but fucking god. bots. They were just every single day. Oh my god, you ponies! This now, nah, them motherfuckers cleared out, packed their bags, and went home, bro. It's, this is bro, it, 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 it. Been over for me right at the end of 2020, bro. Yeah. 2020, <laughs> the year, the year the that year. Two consoles with no games. Yo, oh, the, that year was so bad for Xbox, bro. A PS4 ended with a bang, and yeah. then the PS5 released. I was yeah. just like, "Yo, it, it over. Make no sense no more to be going yeah. back and forth with these dudes. It's over." Like, bro, I knew it was over when they kept saying, "Wait for E3." So many years to fucking E3 mm-hmm. don't even exist anymore. Oh, <laughs> now they just say, "Wait for summertime." So let me go All through. Right, let, me, let, me, let me let me go through the circle. I'll start with Jay Barry. Did you think it would like end this bad this fast? Yes, yes. Yo, people, people don't believe it, man. Like, you know, Microsoft, I don't even yeah. think. And I'm like the council war general. And I'm like, yo, I feel like we just threw five out of bombs on the same spot for no reason. Oh, man. <laughs> like, I've, I've, always, I've always said that Microsoft, uh, when they did that whole PC move, they have each time, the way how aggressive and the way how they executed it, they have taken away the, the incentive for people to go out and buy uh, on the console or buy into the console then they took away the incentives to buy games on the console so the, the yep. people that even buy the console you're in the ecosystem you're not even buying no games of course it's going to look bad you're not no that not much people buying the console and not much people buying their games the the men lie women lie the numbers don't lie bro. It, 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 it was right it was right on the wall man with all the stuff that they did you know what i mean it made them it made them look like they were Pro consumer and good for the gamer, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> the motherfuckers are buying into it. Oh, yeah. shit. Per- Persona, did you see this coming like this fast? Like, did you see the fall from grace or whatever we can call it? Like, like, bro, this is like, like Thanos snap. Did you did you predict the Thanos snap happening this fast? For me, yeah. Like respect, you know, respectfully, and again, you know, just just giving my <laughs> thoughts. I'm not. No wow. That's how wow. you start. You know, we're all through respect. <laughs> I'm about to disrespect you. 
<laughs> that's the New York way. You already know P Rock. That's the yeah, New York yeah. way. How we started off. Hey yo, 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 yo! All due respect, bro. Like, oh, I'm about to be disrespected. <laughs> nah, but real talk for me, yeah. where I knew it was, it was kind of like I don't want to say over, but it was going downhill, and it was really like off the rails with with the introduction of Game Pass. Mm. Because oh. back in 2017, because. Mm. They said themselves, people weren't when they did the when they did the exclusivity deal with Tomb Raider and did not meet sales expectations. Right after that, you saw Game Pass, and I'm like, okay, you put in a subscription service because PlayStation had PS Now, so it's like, fine, we'll you know we'll have our own thing. But they jumped off the ledge and said, day and date, all first party titles. When I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay you're pivoting like people are, mm. because you're, you're not giving your consumers incentive to buy the games mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the sales are not meeting expectations last generation you were seeing a lot of sales splits between playstation and xbox where playstation was like 80 yeah. percent 70 percent 60 percent and i'm just like yo this is this is the start of that decline then you fast forward to 2020 where you would launch a new console with no games then you fast forward to, to <laughs> Halo so Infinite, uh, Halo Infinite, a flagship. That is a like when you think Halo, you think X Xbox yeah. yep. and a flagship title like that releasing in the state that it was in. That's where the world was barren, not good. The multiplayer was was messed up at the start. It, I hear it's gotten a lot better now. But all those different things, I'm like, wow, you let a flagship title like this release in this state. Nah, it's over. <laughs> and then the nail in the coffin like, the nail in the ass. coffin is nah. really and truly the nail in the coffin is these four games coming to playstation Ooh, yeah that's it's the you listen l l listen man t-rock you know pari j-dub extreme y'all y'all been around the block a few times when playstation was doing this whole we testing games on pc shit back in 2020 no what? testing what testing what are what? you testing <laughs> for and, and, and yeah. if it's successful what is the outcome, right? Yep. What test are you doing with putting games on PlayStation and Nintendo? That's and if test. it's successful, what is the outcome? I said this like two weeks ago. The, the outcome is going to be more games going to those platforms. Yeah, no mm -hmm. test. It's, it's over, bro. It's, it's, a, it's a wash, bro. It's a wash. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for Indiana Jones. Hey, though, what was it in the back room with Frosted Windows? Yeah, like, the everybody thought room. they were making ever wild. <laughs> exactly, the secret society. They had the, the Illuminati back there. Oh, with all shit. the PS Five dev kids. Yo, well, hey, though, did you see this coming this fast, though? Or did you I think you Xbox dare. had a little bit more before the collapse? Quarter Rock, how could you dare ask me that? I wake up every day telling you Xbox is dog shit, right? <laughs> Early in the morning, you already know what I think. Of course oh, I've seen this coming. Um, not only because the gamers don't buy their games, they don't support their games, but the mere fact that they focus more on PlayStation than their own platform. Mm. Um, and, 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 and this is a telltale sign. The mere fact that games like Sea of Thieves and Hi-Fi Rush are some of the top games on the PlayStation Store shows that PlayStation gamers actually buy games and they're not willing to show. They're 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 more willing to show their their trophies, their ach achievements, and everything else that they have because they gain. Xbox dudes don't have no skin in the game because they 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 live off a of subscription service. And for the last decade, pretty much ever since Game Pass existed, Microsoft tell them what their gaming hobby is versus the gamers telling the company what they desire and what they want people speak with their wallets gamers speak with their wallets and guess what they didn't speak with their wallet and what happens these companies i don't care if you're the richest company in the world or not these companies are not going to keep money hat in something where the gamers are not speaking with the wallets and the gamers are saying thank you phil we appreciate it but guess what only three percent of the people actually beat the first level of a game or beat the first box right that happened in High Five Rush. That happened to other games. So you're showing them with these stats and these numbers that you're not interested in that and you're not willing to buy it and you're not willing to support it. Therefore, 
They're taking their business over to PlayStation. They're taking their business over to Nintendo. This was inevitable. It's, un it's very unfortunate. This was inevitable. These guys thought that this company would spend $100 billion in acquisitions just to cater to their fanboyism. Not them actually buying the game and supporting the games, but just so they can have bragging rights. That's not how this shit work. That's not how business work. That's not how corporations work. We can pop our shit about PlayStation and shit all day, but at the end of the day, in order for us to keep getting these games that we like, the spider man the God of Wars, and the 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 um the Last of Us, and all of these first party games, they're set, we got to go out and buy that shit. You see Barbara Persona outside all the time telling you, "Hey, you guys better go buy this game." Every single week, they're on the podcast. First thing they say, "This is the games that I've been playing. This is the game that's coming out this week." And on and on and on, because there's a lot of PlayStation gamers that just play their fucking games, right? It's the opposite on the PlayStation, on the Xbox side. These guys care about snoozing with executives, being in DMs with executives, talking to them, and, and, and all this other stuff. But it's like, where are the fucking games? In the games, when they finally get there, why aren't you supporting these games? And that's the problem that Xbox has. It's too late. People talking about, well, just get rid of Phil and put somebody else. It don't matter. It's too late. Yeah. You have already spoken. Phil, Satya has already made the decision. Everything is just gonna is is just going down the way it's gonna go, and it's not gonna change. They're not gonna renege on putting games on PlayStation, Nintendo. They're not gonna go back to caring about just the Xbox uber small fan base. And and this is another thing, Puerto Rock. They offered you right, and, and at this point, I don't believe we can blame Microsoft for this. They gave you options, right? They designed these consoles. They spent billions of dollars on R&D for these consoles to sell you, but you didn't go out and buy it. You talk a, a bunch of shit when it comes to polls. Xbox guys always win polls, right? No matter what poll you put up, they will always win the poll. But when the actual numbers come in from actual sales, right, the real numbers that count, they're last place in everything. The fact that they're negative 47%. And the month before that, there was a negative 74%. And the month before that, there was a negative 122% before that, right? For the, last, for the last couple of years, they've been there. They have not supported these consoles at all. So now they're sitting out here because we're getting a PS5 Pro. Well, Microsoft, well, I think they're going to give us a more powerful Pro. And, and this is going to be in 2026 and, and next year. Why would they keep giving you some shit that you, that you haven't bought? I don't understand that. And that's my take on it. All right. All right. What about you, Extreme? Did you predict Yo, the hey, fall for Grace would be this fast? Or do you thought Microsoft had a little bit more time before? I'm, yo, I'm before, gonna, before, I'm, before you go, ahead, ahead, go ahead. Yo, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to uh, tap out real quick. All right, but man. yo, it was good talking to you guys again, man. And I'll holler at you uh, later. Take, take it easy, brother. Care, my brother. Thank you for coming through. Yo, I was actually going to talk re relative to the panel because I was feeling like everybody here has a superpower, you know. Photo <laughs> here is the only fan in the YouTube streets. You know, uh, J-Dub is a commander-in-chief, you know. Uh, j Bar and Persona clearly have the best pleasure of podcast ever created, you know. Like, I was like, what's my thing? Your and thing, thing is, my you thing pick is... out Japanese games with no black people. <laughs> That's yo yo no yo my my thing my thing I want to be I want my legacy to be garbage from the trailer because I have been doing that this entire generation yes. I've been looking at these games from the trailer and I've been like this is garbage and, yes. and this will be garbage and it'll be proven out to be garbage <laughs> and the thing is when I looked at the like 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 Persona just said, when I looked at Halo Infinite during the Xbox showcase, because remember they had a garbage showcase before, but yeah. they said, hey, that's for third party. Don't count that against us. We should have set expectations better, right? And then they said, hey, listen, now this is ours. And I was like, okay. Because the 2019 trailer, when the first review the Series X at the Game Awards, I thought it was amazing. I was like, this mm -hmm. thing is going to flip the script on this whole notion that um, Xbox is a weaker competitor. I was like, yep, mm. this is it. Because how could you come out ov over a year earlier, right, and put games, you know, even though there was CGI and everything, but you put games there, you reveal the console, you say power your dreams. What if you could dream a dream that lasts 75 years and you could mm. control it? Remember how poetic it was? Like, yeah. that trailer was a masterpiece. 
and I was like, this is it. And remember that at this stage, guys, I'm not following gaming news, right? I'm following it in terms of like the Game Awards and everything, but I'm not on Twitter. I watch some YouTube videos, but I'm not really in the community. Like You're not that. in the fight yet. Okay. You didn't know exactly. the suck. You weren't in the suck. You know there was a reason to be in the fight. Hey, I yo, didn't know hey, the right. I got to... Uh... <laughs> Yo, my fault to cut you up. Yo, P-Rock, I gotta yeah. uh, get up early for work. No, no I'm problem, brother, man. Soon, Thank man. you so yeah, much. I appreciate for coming, so, so you leave, bro. No doubt. No. Have a great time, Persona. All right, all right. So, you know, I'm not really in the fight like that, right? And then I say, okay, cool. You know, I see the first showcase. I'm like, that's strangely awful. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It doesn't count. And I'm like, great. Thank God it doesn't count. And then I look at Halo Infinite Reveal. And I think it was the first game that I showed in, in that you know particular showcase. When I first saw, you know, the thing, then I look at it and I'm like, why is this thing awful? For me, it was the moment, yeah, that they shot down a helicopter point blank in the face and there was not a single crack on the glass. I was like, what the fuck is this? You just took a cannon, you shot at the thing and the glass doesn't even crack. And then you crash, and there is no crack in the glass. And I was like, this is it. This thing is going to be ass. I was like, this entire generation is going to be garbage. Because if that is your flagship product, and you do not put in those touches on your flagship, then you're going to put that nowhere else. Again, it is the car door sound. If your flagship car, when you close the door, sounds like you're closing a pantry door with a hundred knives, you do not care about that car and if you do not care about that car you're not going to care about anything in your production line so the moment that halo infinite dropped i knew it was a wash mm -hmm. that was the moment that i knew and again i wish i wish i was on twitter back then so i could have just pointed to the part where i said this will be garbage oh, <laughs> and yeah, i would have said it right. back then it from the right. trailer but everybody okay? i mean none of this oh wait till you play it wait till you buy it <laughs> As long as we got Craig, though, we got Craig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, boy, boy. Oh. For me, Craig was not even... Because the thing is, I didn't even get why people were so upset at Craig. I was so upset about the helicopter. I was like, bro, I don't care what that glass is made out of. If it gets shut down, you should crack. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, shout out to Alfonso Cardi. says, I don't know why y'all listen to Xbox Aaron. This shit is funny. But before we go, I uh, just want to point something out that King Thrash... He says one year versus one day. PlayStation gamers clearly more skilled. So for the trophy to land twenty beat, uh, I can't read it because he circled it. Let me read it on the PlayStation. Land twenty B hit attacks on enemies. Um, Forty-eight point eight one percent of gamers unlocked this trophy. This is the Xbox tro. I mean uh, achievement. But mm -hmm. on the PlayStation side, already 60% of the people who played Hi-Fi Rush on PlayStation. Yeah. But, but that's, that's not how it works, though. Because yeah. there's going to be more people that pull through Game Pass and then quit because it lowers you the know, bar. Game Pass is open and everything. So percentages, yeah. you can't use them across like that. Like, yeah. it, it is a good troll, but it's, statistically, it's, it's, that's it's, not what had statistics it's work. It's a great troll. It's a great troll. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great troll. Like I said, sometimes the lie is more entertaining than the truth. But exactly. again, I need I need you guys on PlayStation side to kind of kind of remember how no, stats work. I, I, okay, I think, I think, I think you can't like, just compare I, 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 them like I think, that. I think like a year from now, we'll see how it fluctuates. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> let let. But, but the thing is, even then, it needs to really go onto PlayStation Plus for it to yeah. be same because you need people that came in and they had no financial attachment to the game. So they were less likely to play it. If you play a game, you're more likely to play it, which means that you're more likely to achieve an easy trophy like that one. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's too many casuals on Xbox. Anyway, man, we're gonna cut we're gonna cut the show through. Uh, we're gonna do our outros. All right, J dub, my brother. Listen, y'all know where to find me, man. Um, find me on Twitter at JDub City16. Trying to keep you guys laughing without the gifs and the memes. You know what I mean? Uh, it's always good uh, being here every single week. Anyway, y'all know where to find me, man. Uh, check me out next week. Same time, same place. That's it, man. And my brother Extreme from Down Under. Yo, guys. Hey, listen. Go out there. Play your games. You know, have a great time. Support your developers. Do all of the good stuff. But, but mostly when it comes to these rumors, I know that this is the era. Until Sony officially reveals everything. We're just going to get more and more discussion, okay? Just don't be a dickhead about it, okay? I don't need to act dumb, okay? It's hard enough to find the dumb. 
coming from the Xbox and PC side, I don't want to see it in house. Okay, we don't need to import it. Kick these people out. If you see a PlayStation fan or whatever, say something stupid on Twitter, point it out and tell them to shut up because we don't need stupidity in house. It's already hard when it's so much out there. Okay, we, we don't need it coming from our house. All right. It's like, you know, when uh, you used to hang out with those neighborhood kids and your mom would tell you like, hey, those are bad kids. Don't be like that. It's because she doesn't want to deal with that bullshit at home. Yeah. Okay. She already <laughs> deals with that bullshit out in the world. She doesn't want you to bring it in house. Okay. Because all of those stupid kids have stupid parents. And even if she's not dealing with the stupid kids, she's dealing with the stupid parents that made those kids. Okay. Yeah. And she doesn't want to deal with that stupidity coming from her own house and her own children. All right. So you go out there. And then all of these discussion, and all of these rumors, and all this speculation, just don't be dumb. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, all right. Wise words from a wise man, you know. But hey, I just want to say thank you so much for the uh, the panel members, man. You guys have been great. That's true, man. We we got the Legionnaires of Stallions, Extreme, Craig, J Dub, and then Persona and Bari came through. Thank you so much for rocking out, my brothers. You made this a great show. Um, to all the viewers, I hope you enjoy another sixty phrase no like podcast. To all the people supporting the channels, man, the channel members, thank you so much for uh, rocking through, becoming a family member. To all the super chats, I out there thank you so much for supporting the channel my boy ghost up in there you know he floss and he flexing he's making a new rap video check it out and stuff like that check it check him out on spotify he doing his thing you know he the seed big ceo out there but anyway yo love you guys thank you so much stay tuned for more videos i'll be pushing out this week but until then i will definitely see you guys next week next tuesday 60 frames no like podcast we are out of here peace Grand opening, grand closing. Grand closing.